The Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Pally, it looks like our girls have dumped us. They're taking speed, too, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, blow me. A kiss as you're leaving. Blow me. Oh, a kiss right now. Cause if you're gonna leave me, honey, wow, I'll surely miss the way you blow me. Blow me a kiss. Come on and blow me. <laughs> blow a kiss like you mean it. Blow me. A kiss goodbye. I really can't remember anything as hard as this. So, so blow, blow me. Blow, blow me a kiss. kiss. Yes, some things in life are hard to swallow. She couldn't take it all, Dean. She couldn't handle everything. Are you kidding, you monster? But if she comes back tomorrow, I'll be shooting my wand on flowers and a ring. Honey, blow me. A kiss <laughs> as you're leaving. Blow me. Oh, a kiss as you go. And always think about me as you're going down. Oh, yeah. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. <laughs> He'll miss her legs so tall. I'll miss her neck and her shoulders. But I'll miss her head most of all. Go down, boys. Mr. Royce Campbell on guitar, ladies and gentlemen. I loved it when he sang Rhinestone Cowboy, didn't you, Pally? That was Glenn Campbell, oh, you tool. <laughs> Blow me. A kiss as you're leaving, baby. Blow me. A kiss as you go. Here's the big finish, Dean. And if you want to come home, Just grab a hold of this And baby, blow me Baby, won't you blow me Blow me a kiss I don't know Arky, Arky, Dean, me I don't know I don't know I don't know Kiss. Blow me a kiss. <laughs> what a great song. Good Who's morning. Who sings that? Hello. How are you? Today's the day I'm cussing live on the air. Oh, this is exciting. Sure, yeah. I've done it before, but I've never called my shot. <laughs> and here what, we are. What word are you going to use? Well, you keep talking, I'll uh, let everyone guess. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that one? Wow. That shirt you got uh, wonkers. Hi, welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. I think that shirt looks great on you. There's Thank no you. buttons. How do you get into it? There's no buttons. There's no zipper. There's no nothing. How do you get it off? Pull it's it the over key. Your head. It's a blouse. You're a blouse. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those. Why days. don't you go out in the parking lot, work on your window in your car? How about that? <laughs> Is it still broken? Yes or no? That's all I want out of you right now. A yes or a no? No. You lied. It's, it's not broken. <laughs> but there's no window there. You've got laundry plastic on your back. It's unbelievable. I'm going to strangle him. It. Welcome to the Bob and Tom show. I have offered he can you can drive my suburban. I'd rather drive with the BMW. Oh, yeah, I bet you would. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. There are, Thank I, have, you. I have standards. I, uh, I can barely drive that he thing. Must it's so like complicated. It. He must like it. He likes it. I like the way <laughs> the wind blows through the <laughs> yeah. car. Hi. Agree. Welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. It's a very special day. I lack the capacity to, to explain it. I'm, Tom does, and he will in a moment. I once, Christy, uh, I once drove a car that you had to have a, a ch pair of channel locks to uh, steer. That's safe. Well, it was a, for a brief period of time. It's a long story. Oh, you ever had a car you had to start with a screwdriver? No. Oh, that was really to, cool, it, and it would spark. When I used to oh boost them. I know about that. When I used to boost the cars, when Josh <laughs> and I worked in that uh, that car boosting gang. Remember that? <laughs> I do not remember. <laughs> hey, there's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. There's, uh, did I say hi to Christy Lee at the news you desk? Did. Okay, there's Josh You look Arnold. really Hello. nice today, Christy. Thank uh, you. I got dressed up for company. Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick. Here's Tom. 
Why is today special, Tom? Well, we have a, a, a nice crowd through. If you go kind of around the corner in the building here, uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio with the uh, Bob and Tom Horns, we like to call them the brass to mouth horn section. They're joining us this morning. Uh, also, we have the Steven Singer Singers. And we're actually going to have Steven Singer himself as our special guest. In the house. All and right. uh, there's going to be a Steven Singer quiz, which he is not aware of. Oh. Uh, mm. So uh, A quiz we, about himself? No, about singers. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, that makes <laughs> sense. Or we could do famous Stevens if you want to do a little uh, research. Um, that's all coming up. And we're going to have a special edition of News We Failed to Mention with Jeff Oske. Mm. How about that? Let's so, do that. Uh, you type Steven into Google. What's the first one that comes up? Steven Van Zandt. Uh, no. Steven Crane. Steven Universe. Is that Steven a card? Steven Crane. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> the <laughs> Red Badge <laughs> of Courage. That's no. right. We Steven slipped into a time warp. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1910. It starts no. with a C. What's this? Is Stephen there a Stephen Lawrence. A? <laughs> Stephen Universe is, uh, looks like a uh, cartoon show that's very popular. So that, Did you that's spell it with a st Stephen with a V or with a PH? Spelled oh, it with a son of a mother. S T E V E N, the way Stephen Singer spells it. Uh, the first one that comes up in that way is Steven Spielberg. Oh, of course. Yeah. That makes sense. There you go. And Stephen Furtick? Who's Stephen Furtick? Anybody? I have no Ooh, idea. I don't know where you're uh, mm, you Wow. Well, how about Stephen A. Smith? Oh, that's that's PH. That's PH, Stephen. That, that's because he's such an acid man. <laughs> PH. Right. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, indeed. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's got a, he's yes. got an acidic wit. But the, <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I'm yeah. in the acidic I'm in the wit. room and I don't know what he's talking about. Well, no, Stephen A. Smith. I love Stephen A. Smith. He's incredibly pissed every day about something. Yep. Has that's he ever true. had a? Has he ever Stephen A. Smith, a. Smith ever had a day where he goes? Yeah, things are pretty good, yeah. See, here's the NBA, thing. Wait, everybody's having fun. You're saying that? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> now, the point is... Uh, <laughs> now, if you go PH instead of V for Stephen, uh, the first PH is Stephen Hawking. Oh, okay. Oh, and so then... Uh, King's got to be in there. You got Stephen A. Smith, second. Uh, Stephen King's third. Uh, and then uh, some people I don't... Uh, Stephen Crane. Crane. Steve, <laughs> Stephen Crane. Stephen not first. Not in, not in there. Stephen Colbert comes up. Stephen First is the guy from Animal House? Yes. And St. Elsewhere. Well, you know, there's an interesting story about Stephen First. He delivered pizzas, and he put his picture in the pizza box, and he delivered, that's how he got jobs in acting. Hey, <laughs> no, no, no. hey, hey while well, you've got that open, look under A-hole. I think, I think there's what a new, there's, going on there's a new picture of you Hang on a second. Let me look. A-hole. There should be a picture of you bitching. Oh, my God. It's my camera. It's on now. Hello. <laughs> uh, Stephen First was in here. Here we go. It's the same story I just told. Yep. It's a great story. He was a young actor trying to get gigs, and he would deliver pizzas. He put his, he I don't know put his do. photo in there. I don't know if I should pretend to listen to him. Or... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our show just finally ate itself. <laughs> I think it's a great story, and he's now deceased, thanks to you. Yeah, who isn't? Okay, line up. Well, uh, let's That's see the kind now. of mood I'm in. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Such and such is six. Tough. Why don't you tell Tough what, it out. Tell you, why don't you try walking down our front steps? If it ices up a little bit, it'll probably kill you. Walk it, walk uh, it out. Uh, now, um, you mentioned the fact that today's the day you're going to curse. Yes. yes. But you're going to call your shot? I'm saying I'm going to curse. See, unlike, unlike this, here's an example of uh, what can happen on the radio when you get a little too relaxed. <laughs> Hard to believe guy wrote that. wrote, me and Julio down by the schoolyard or whatever the f*** that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Remember the days of the old schoolyard. That was okay. It, it, the reason that's funny is that like 10 seconds after I said it, I realized I'd said it. That, it went on forever. Yeah. You, you really first, did. What were you commenting on? What uh, Was it me and Julio? Jack Stevens or something. Me and Julio? Uh, no, 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 I think it was no, Cat Stevens. It was, um... He's a Paul down, Simon down song. Down the old schoolyard. Yeah, you don't like Paul Simon, do I you? I don't like Paul Simon. I don't yeah. care for his ways. <laughs> you don't like Paul Simon's music? Um, uh, some of it. You can take a, it. Uh, are you right? Am I right? You can take it or leave yeah. it. Yeah. I, I could check. live without You Can be, Call Me Al. I ain't a big fan of I most love, of it. Yeah. 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 Most of it is pretty good. I don't seek it out. Okay. Uh, but here, here's your comment one more time. <laughs> Hard to believe guy wrote that. wrote, me and Julio down by the schoolyard or whatever the f***. That's bullshit. Oh, no. Remember the days of the old schoolyard. That was it. Yes, yeah, you, you were trying to uh, Cat Stevens, bring yeah. up a Cat Stevens reference Ooh. when you tripped over your tongue. I didn't trip over my tongue. It was pretty plain yeah. what I was saying. Uh, I forgot what you were doing here. 
this came up. Did, do you guys have uh, do you guys have uh, the the music service Spotify and Apple sure, Music yeah. and all that kind yes. of yes. This uh, you know Spotify if you if you put a playlist together it puts uh, it, it throws songs that you might like into your playlist. Did of you course, know yeah. there I is a feature that. for that? Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Well, the, this last night I'm driving to dinner last night, and uh, this song comes on. Let's oh yeah, one. you'd think, wouldn't you? I'll give you I don't know 35 seconds. To tell me who this is. I'm going to go Pearl Jam. No. Boy, it sounds just it's like somebody. Exactly. It's somebody that I have ever been. Falling all around. I, sh you shut up. You can't guess. Dolly Parton. <laughs> it's not Dolly Parton. It's, it's somebody I have said I would never listen to. I don't care for them. I don't care for well, their ways. If you'd shut up, I could hear who's singing. I don't know who that's a note for note cover of the Led Zeppelin. So right. A great impression. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of an impression. I'll give you a hint. Train? Train. Oh, that's interesting. Me. Yeah, that that hand sounds nails. like that. That guy can sing. Oh, they've always done Zeppelin covers. Oh, hey, this is a whole album so of Zeppelin high. covers. But it's, oh, note, it's note for note. I know I got what Shut up! I got to do. Okay, enough. Uh, we get it. We get it. Yeah, that's good. Real good. They sound real good. Yeah, they do. Real good singing. They didn't really do an interpretation of it. They, they're just no, they, playing yeah, a note for note. Yeah, dead on, right? Right, it does seem dead on, but it's good. Isn't that why you cover a song? <sighs> no, no, you want to really. give it your own spin. Well, maybe that is their own spin. Maybe well, they like no, the original. No, it's not. It's note for note. Oh, I like that. Their spin is no spin. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but can't you recognize that maybe that is their spin? It's no spin. Instead of your interpretation for their spin, which wouldn't make any sense. No, I can just play the record if I wanted Jake, to. Jake, I that. feel for you. This is one of those things that inexplicably <laughs> pissed him off. <laughs> I was delighted. It started to play it. I thought, oh, this is interesting. Right. Uh, this makes me want to go listen to more Train. But no, uh -uh. apparently their take on Zeppelin is not up to snuff for Mr. Oh, Griswold. Right. No, it's just not, it's not different at all. It sounds exactly like the original. <laughs> How about a Frank did uh, ramble on? How about that? Ramble on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Who did we when have you on? you talk, the... you ramble on. <laughs> ramble, Remember, ramble. We had some, uh, who was the guy we that redid um, uh, Nirvana Smells Like Teen Spirit? I don't remember that. We that had takes him on, a lot of balls. We had him on the air. Um, Richard the Cheese guy? It was really, all, it was real, uh, I'm sorry, I can't, for, but what are the sort of crooners? Can you think of any one's take on someone else's music that you sure. care for? Yeah, uh, Joe Cocker, with a little help for my friends, one of the few people to cover the Beatles and make it better. Yeah, yeah. Better. That is better. Oh, my God, better. that's genius. Hmm. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, now, um, uh, well, I'll try to think of who it was we talked to on the phone that uh, did a version. It was like oh, by Pat Boone. Right, because he did Crazy Train oh, for it's Ozzy oh, Osbourne. Oh, yeah. but he wasn't yeah. on the air with us. Was Yeah, yeah, one of those guys Thank was. And he did, oh, that's cool. And he did uh, Nirvana, one of the Nirvana. It just didn't work. But, but, but in any event, <laughs> at least he was trying to put his own and spin this, on and it. And this train, uh, that doesn't work no, either. No, it's great. It's just exactly the same arrangement and the note-for-note -note version of it. So, you know... <sighs> Why bother? Didn't Weezer do, uh, they did something, right? Or I don't know. They did Toto. Africa. Oh, they Africa. did Africa. 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 Right. That yeah. was good. Was Weezer, the, was good. was Weezer the mom on... Uh... That's Weezy. Oh, oh. Weezy Jefferson? Yeah, oh, sorry. See, now <laughs> you're playing with us. <laughs> now. Uh, now, we're going to hook up with Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Uh, we got the big horn section going. And uh, a bunch of folks uh, visiting this morning. I, so I hope they play up to uh, your uh, standards. We'll get yeah. some live music, <laughs> and we'll, we, we will also uh, be hearing from Mr. Pat Godwin. Ooh. And I'm very excited that we're going to do a couple special songs from Pat with the, uh, with the full Duke Tomato uh, spin, if you will. Right now, I want to talk about uh, what a great 2024 it's been so far and how great it's going to be. Because the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Let's uh, keep it going. Let's crush it, 2024. One of the things we can do about our own mental health is a little bit of therapy, a little tweak here and there, and um, the BetterHelp organization has a great idea. Let's take advantage of this contemporary technology we're all toting around. I'm talking about that uh, phone that really is a brilliant computer because um, now you can experience the beauties of therapy without having to get in your car, leave the office, go to some appointments, sit there and... Uh, no. It's con it can be extremely convenient 
by doing it online. That's where BetterHelp comes in. You fill out a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime if you'd like for no additional charge. The idea, of course, is to be um, super convenient, ultra flexible, and suited to your schedule. So it can make therapy so much easier to access. And by the way, you can do the therapy uh, like you run a Zoom call, or you can do it uh, like you were just talking on the phone with no camera, or you can do it uh, whatever works for you, texting back and forth. It's whatever works for you. This is the beauty of BetterHelp, why it's such a smart way to make some progress. Continue that great progress we're celebrating for you in 2024. Find out all the details by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show. The slash BT show thing will help you out by knocking 10% off that first month. So it's better help, H E L P, betterhelp.com slash BT show. Coming up in sports, Mr. Harbaugh. What happened to the maize and blue? He's out of here, man. He's in the NFL now. I'll tell you where's. Okay, okay. Um, uh, also, we have uh, news from the world of archaeology. Oh, and we're going to get Josh cranked up today. Uh, we had an NBA player throw a fan out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My feelings are hurt. There it is. And then yep. um, look here out. Here we go. <laughs> they talk about crossing the streams. Remember the whole cicada thing? Mm -hmm. They've got the 13-year cycle and the 17-year cycle. Good luck, everybody. They're crossing this year. They yep. think it's going to be the worst one in about 200 years. Oh. So uh, look forward to that. We'll have to did some details. This is the Bob and Tom Show. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's Uh, Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom is Steven Seagal. Steven oh, Seagal. Steven Seagal. <laughs> hey, Steve, Steven, how did you make? How did you make your living, Steven? You know, I made my living in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The last twenty years, I've been a cop. Uh huh. I understand Christy Lee is having some second thoughts about moving. Uh, no, she already moved. A lot of people don't know, but for five of the last 20 years, I've also been a real estate broker. <laughs> really? <laughs> he had no idea. I, I love know. open houses, man. Oh. Someday I show up. Yeah. Uh -huh. the owners and say, you get out the car! <laughs> you get on the ground! <laughs> yeah, it's crazy what happened. Uh -huh. Steven Seagal! Yeah. You Steven Seagal! Yeah, I get that a lot, man. My name is Steven Seagal! Yeah. Hey, back up, man. I said, you Oh! oh. oh. Oh, oh! I made my living in the movies. Uh, uh, I'm an ass whooped yeah. by Steven Seagal. For the last two seconds, I've been a bitch slapper. Steven Seagal. No, oh. man. Wow, those, uh, you have sound effects and everything, huh, Steven? Hey, Bob and Tom Show USA. <laughs> Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Larry King. Wow. Larry. 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 Nice to see you. Let me sit down here. Oh, Ouch, no. my back. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, wow. You know, you're giving off a weird vibe when the Walmart greeter tells you to pound sand up your butt. <laughs> Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> hey, what's with Cher and the sunny thing all of a sudden? Would somebody tell you, tell me, anything? Uh, anybody else now think the C word was invented because of her? <laughs> <laughs> Cher, of course. Of course, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. And how about that Carol Channing thing, huh? Yeah. I guess she was singing Hello, Dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dildo. Yeah, man. Hello, Hello. <laughs> just only good got stuff. married. Only got it twice in her twice life. in forty-one, 41 years, years of marriage. marriage. Wow. wow, she needs Viagra. And I said it before, but never, never address an Indian in war paint as Chief Big Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do don't it. Do and it. finally, I got to say, I got to say, kids, <laughs> it's been a stone gas being here, by the way. I got to say, this body piercing craze is getting out of control. You know, studs through the tongue, sure. rings through the nose, right. eyebrows, the nipples, the belly button, and now a series of interlocking rings and hoops through my schwantz. <laughs> oh, did I say my schwantz? <laughs> oh, somebody stop me. You know how <laughs> you know how embarrassing it is to go through the metal detector? <laughs> I'm sure. Larry King, you've got a solid nickels worth, kids. Thanks. I'm out. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, Larry. I got to catch a play. Uh, thanks very bye much, Larry. <laughs>
you know. I'd... Can I tell you something? Hey. My mother used to chew her toenails. No way. In front of me. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> Clothed or not? I Clothed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that, that is a visual. Poor Bob has lost oh, it over there. Hello, best of right here. <laughs> right here. That would be, uh, you know. Totally I even, naked. I think How did you, you even get, think of that? You would get, See anything you like, boy? I, I think you get that. free psychiatry for life. Free Prozac, sure, whatever you want. There's a program for that. <laughs> we are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> Anything you like? You can imagine the <laughs> twisting oh that would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. <laughs> she was very Show's limber. <laughs> Show's over. Well, actually, I'm doing a CNN interview with Ten, or else I'd go with him. Do Larry King. First time. I'm very Larry. excited. Yeah, I just want him to go, Saskatchewan, hello. <laughs> <laughs> can you turn down the electric blanket? <laughs> I can't turn off the fan above the oven. <laughs> I go, you know what I'm going to do, Larry? We're going to try to get your shoulders a little higher. Can you do that? Why are my suspenders so tight? Because <laughs> well, they don't go around your n***, Larry. That's why they go around. See, if you let them go, the shoulders will do that. You won't look like a, you know, you look like a vulture in heat. You know, Muncie, hello. Question for the skinhead. <laughs> <laughs> with us in the studio, comedian uh, Kostaki Economopoulos. Now, we talked a little bit about your love life. W what's happening with it again? You're... Oh, I've got a girlfriend. She's great. Mm -hmm. and we're knocking around and having a good time. And So you have no children. Though. I have no children. Mm -hmm. here's, here's the first son of me getting old, all right? Here's the first son of me as an old guy. I give my girlfriend a really good back massage, like 40 minutes. Then it's my turn. I lay down. She just barely starts to rub my back. This is true. And she reaches down and, <laughs> and yeah. says, are you sure you want me to rub your back? And I said, Yes. <laughs> like, <"What?" laughs> True enough. Oh my God. What am I, a hundred? Bob and Tom. Two, three. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Are we calling this uh, Big Live Day 2024? Or? Just shaking things up a little bit with some live music. Right now, you're hearing Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. That title sounds kind of clunky. Featuring the brass to mouth horns. <laughs> um, Just shaking things up with, with a little live music event. That's what we're doing. Well, Heck I yeah, know, man. But you need a name. Or sounded great. For what? I just said the brass to mouth horns. We got Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. He, he wants a name for the show. Tom Palooza or. Uh, Palooza. How about this? You'll like Turtle Palooza. How about that? You like that? <laughs> no, no, you no. like Turd. Uh, Tom Palooza, I think, sounds pretty good. Uh, we're going to have some fun. We've got the Steven Singer Singers here coming up with our special guest, Steven Singer. Yeah. Oh, that's right. we got a little quiz for him. We'll see how smart he is. Uh, I'll show him. <laughs> that's right. That seems like a bright man to me. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Our goal is yeah, to we uh, will, won't we? embarrass you. Yeah. See those SATs. Right. <laughs> Make a fool of our guests. What's that's up? what you like to do. This is a kind of a jazz thing going here. Uh, well, be careful, guys. It's your interpretation of this piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, I'm you want to make... up, you know, tell you, if he doesn't meet, meet well, his... Uh, uh, let's say a quick hello to Duke. Duke, how are you this morning, sir? It's I'm good well, to sir. see you. How are you? Good. Why don't we uh, begin with a little bit of music? You got something in mind to wake everybody up? Sure do. Well, uh, let's get to it. <laughs> get to it. They're in the middle of a... Get the song. <laughs> the guy was so long. Give, give him a have, second. Do you have oh, words? Ow. You have a book. It, words and phrases that piss people off. <laughs> Next, let's get to it. Let's hear some music. Get to it. They're not even done. <laughs> Gotta tell me to stop music. one thing before we get to another. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. All right, Duke. It's all right, good Duke. to see you. Looking very good this morning. Thank you very much, sir. Nice to be here. Uh, now shake it up for us, will you, please? Weird ass show. All right. <laughs> that's, that's the name. Yeah. The morning show. How about you? Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Let's just have a real wild morning show. No time to shut up. <laughs> Let's get loose. Yeah. The weird ass show. <laughs> Let's get loose. Tom a palooza. He's <laughs> not going to let weird ass show. Feel good when you do it right. My alarm clock got up too early this morning. Let's get loose. <laughs> oh, Work is good, but it's not that good. When the work is through, it's time for me and you to get loose. Let's get loose. I'm sorry, Tom. What uh, what did you say? Next. <laughs> <laughs> Open up your eyes. <laughs> time to realize. Uh, I, Tom's pissing me off. I mean, <laughs> you. Now get Let's lying. get loose. <laughs> loose, loose, loose. 
Please describe Tom in one word. Ready? One, two, three. Jerk! Oh. <laughs> you said everybody, and I'm the only one. Well, well only I, one was spoke up. I was editing, so I wouldn't get fired. <laughs> oh, well. Let me see. Payday five days away. I was nervous. Open up your eyes. Time to realize. Let's get loose. Let's go. Do it now. Let's get loose. Whoa. Let's get loose. Come on. Duke Tomato and the Power Trio, live here on the Bob right. Time Show. Thank you very much. And uh, by the way, uh, Duke, uh, tomorrow night at the Token Lounge, Westland, Michigan. Great place. And then uh, two shows at the famous Jazz Kitchen coming up on Saturday. Kingston Mines in Chicago, February 2nd and 3rd. That's Friday and Saturday. And uh, now we have uh, Mr. Excuse me, Mr. McGee Next. over at the sports desk. <laughs> look, look what I've got. I'm so excited. Next. <laughs> All right, I see it. Okay, that's very, very funny. I say it, that's okay. It's very, very funny. But when I do it to myself. Next. I'm sorry. All right, next. Um, uh, uh, Jim Harbaugh. Uh, that is yeah. the correct pronouncement. Boy, from, that, from that is a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot of uh, silent letters in that, right? R to me. That's ridiculous. Name. He's now the new, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the new head coach of your Los Angeles Chargers is, it's official, Jim Harbaugh. He leaves Michigan after capping his ninth season as coach of college football's winning his program and the first national championship since 1997 when Loaf of Bread was a nickel. Harbaugh made the um, highly anticipated decision to go back to the NFL after a Second interview and resume. His chase for a Super Bowl continues. Of course, he was uh, coached against his brother in Super Bowl uh, uh, when he coached the San Francisco <laughs> the one with the Roman 40, numerals. The Forty Niners and of course uh, uh, Jim Harbaugh, John, John Harbaugh, who coached the Ravens, much like this year, and. Um, his uh, brother beat him in that Super Bowl. Mm. So he's, well, they he's, still don't speak, do they? And they still do not speak. <laughs> it's a sore point. It's an awkward Thanksgiving. Boy, yeah, I bet. Like, hey, take Ooh. your Super Bowl and shove it. <laughs> Mom, will you tell that guy to pass the rolls? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Mom. Looks like you got the Kelsey brothers, then you got the Harbaugh brothers. Yeah, we could do that. How many NFL uh, brothers are there out uh, Have there been? Kind of fun in Is the history fun? of uh, the National Football League. Let's take a moment. Uh, well, um, maybe not. And from the NBA, a person familiar with the situation, it was announced actually, Doc Rivers is now the uh, head coach of the Milwaukee Bucks. Of course, he's a doctor of 
gynecology. That's right. He doesn't <laughs> like to talk about it, but uh, he's he's the foremost. Uh, comes in handy every once in a while. It comes in very you know, handy. Yeah. You know, help one of his players, you know. Uh, oh, oh, let's. Boy. Depending on what state they're in. Chris, do you want a Whoa, gynecologist no, who can palm a basketball? I don't. Did, you, <laughs> did you hear what happened? I heard what happened. Doc, Doc being a gynecologist, it comes in handy for one of his players. Mm -hmm. If they uh, clear throat, clear throat. Of course, it depends on what state they're in. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with sorry, you? I'm sorry. God. Anyway, you this can... This is uh, bad news over here. With the... What? He wasn't done. Oh, no, I just looked Listen at the to headlines. I, What's bad news? Well, we're bombing the hooties. I hope <laughs> the blowfish are okay. That's... that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something else. <laughs> yeah, you're misunderstanding what's actually Sorry. going on over there. As you might imagine, uh, if the Milwaukee Bucks felt to the need to uh, fire a coach, yes, they must have had a horrible record. Well, you're you're kind of correct. After last night's victory, Milwaukee now 31 and 13. <laughs> so they decided they saw the need to hire a new coach. So, Was the guy that coached before a bad guy? What happened? Adrian Griffin, evidently. Uh, I'm guessing one of the players did not like uh, Mr. Oh, coach Griffin. So what's going on there? I'll teach you. Ugh. Hey, when they, they throw me the ball, I drop it as long as you're a coach. <laughs> <laughs> I like that punk. This is, this is punk NBA player. <laughs> yeah. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not going to shoot. Why do we keep him around? <laughs> Shut up. I'm not doing oh, yeah, it. Yeah, that guy played in the NBA in... 1953. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I need Doc Rivers to come help me with a situation. You know, you know what I mean. Famous. Depending on what five foot. What state four. are we in again? <laughs> what state are we in again? <laughs> and another contentious Dallas Phoenix meeting for Mavericks superstar Luka Doncic uh, has gone beyond the court. The four-time All-Star Luka. My name is Luca. Who lives on the second floor. Uh, the four-time All-Star responsible for a fan being ejected in the third quarter of the Suns-Mavericks game last night. According to reports and um, actual audio, Suns supporter yelled that Doncic looked tired. You need to get back on the treadmill. <laughs> and that's why they threw him out? Well, according to Luca, after... Uh, at the press conference uh, post game, he said that the guy had been cursing him the entire first half. Oh, that's why. And Luca uh, addressed. Yes, I know they paid, and he was like two rows from the floor. <laughs> oh, the nice guy seat. who got tossed. Yeah. yeah. So he goes. I, I realize that the people play good money for, and I don't like to kick anybody out, but I'd had it with this guy. So yeah, I don't know what to got do. Got in his head. Yeah. But based on nothing other than his appearance. <laughs> He had a backward hat on and uh, some weird Phoenix Sun warm-up <laughs> jacket. <laughs> throw him out. Throw him out, yes, throw him out. How old would you say he was? Um, 23, <laughs> okay. 25. How many beers? Some kind of dot-com bastard, you know, yeah. who could aff afford those seats. <laughs> but the coolest thing was during the game, they showed the exact moment when Luca tossed him. All he did, he looks over, he's he's coming up with the, he looks over in the, in the stands and he goes, he points at the guy. Yeah. Points at this uh, as he's running down the court. Points to a guy under the basket that he's heading toward. Points at him and then points back at the guy. Quicker than anything. While he's working. While he while he's running down the court, security is at this guy and he's walking up the stairs before he can get to the basket. Wow. It was, it was the craziest thing hmm. I've seen, ever seen. There must be more to it. That guy, that guy. Uh, Luca did everybody in that section a favor. Yeah. I sure. Yeah, I think the security guy probably had his eye on him before. Yeah. Anything. I There's probably see. more to it. What What do you think? I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure some <laughs> words were exchanged that would be inappropriate to describe. Well, now Luca is uh, Serbian, uh, something, right? I, I don't know. Is he from? He kind of uh, looks Serbian. Sure. Yeah, yeah he looks. Yeah. Serbian. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Handsome he's one, fella. Maybe, maybe he's one of those hooties that were bombed. He's a. <sighs> Could we not? Well, okay, we need sorry. to put a stop to this. Yeah. <laughs> Quick no, no, I, I'd like to an answer to this. Uh, how much comedy do you think you can wring from that? Do you, well, I mean, there's... Uh, is it the it's one totally, <laughs> totally based on the place is called Hootie, right? The, the, the people. The, the, the blowfish are okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, you know, you're not going, sorry. You know, going out this... Uh, I mean, uh, does anyone know that if they got a funny name? Did anybody tell them that? Uh, no, I think they're a little too concerned with <laughs> the bombs. Oh, sure, the, sure, the bombing and the death. But, hey, they got kind of a silly name. <laughs> don't, you think, don't you think so? Yes. Yeah, like a Who serious, serious, sound? serious press conference at the Pentagon. And, you know, one of those generals was going, all right, what the hell's wrong? Who are these clowns? <laughs> <laughs> Who named these guys? Soupy Sales? <laughs> okay.
Okay, sorry. Back to we'll leave the Pentagon and get back to it. Soupy sales. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to get a song out of Mr. Godwin. Uh, and we got uh, the great band Duke Tomato uh, in the studio with us. And uh, coming up, we're going to have our special guest Stephen Singer, and also a special edition of news we failed to mention with Jeff Oske. And the Steven Singer Singers. That's right, they're here too. Uh, what have you got over there? What else? Any interest? Uh, more sports coming up, including uh, Peacock's um, NFL exclusive uh, that they broadcast a couple weeks ago. A uh, big hit for Peacock and NBC. And they're, wow. They're wow. cashing in. I'll have numbers for you. Okay. And, and uh, also uh, an upset at the Australian Open. Oh. But you'll, you'll have that because they're playing upside down down there. How do you expect them to play? Oh, that? yeah, that's way harder. Everything's backwards. All right. Uh, now, um, also, we have uh, uh, penguins in the news, cicadas in the news, uh, beef in the news, an amazing story about food. We need to get to the bottom of this cicada thing because I'm genuinely, sincerely worried about my Australian shepherd. She will eat, eat them, fit, yeah. f have her fill of cicadas. It's going to be the worst in, in our area since 1803. Years. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's going to end well. So yeah. we need we'll to we'll find out. And now you can cook them. I don't want to cook. Yeah, them. you could. There's a, you can actually yeah. eat them. Can I fog my yard to kill them all as they come out? Uh, no. <laughs> as they come out. Uh, as they come out of the ground. <laughs> Welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> flame Flamethrower. <laughs> Perfect bombing. <laughs> Time now to say hello to HelloFresh. Let's get uh, Duke Tomato and the boys uh, back, and we'll do a little jingle here for them. Uh, the the HelloFresh fan club. Especially Feature. for HelloFresh. Yeah. Okay. Duke, you got a little something for him? One, two, three, four. HelloFresh. Oh, yeah. HelloFresh. Oh. Take it, Tom. Hello Thank you very much. Say hello to a delicious year, 2024, with Hello Fresh. Okay, you got that recipe boredom going on in your life, or you can't decide where you want to go out to dinner. You don't feel like paying those high prices. How about uh, making restaurant quality food at home? That's what Hello Fresh is all about. Get those uh, 2024 food goals working, because Hello Fresh has those special protein smart and calorie smart recipes, among many, many others. I Christy have one Lee, of those. What are you working on? In fact, on? last night, 32 grams of protein, only 460 calories. The sheet pan sweet Thai chili salmon with broccoli, zucchini, and scallions. Easy. One sheet pan, 30 minutes, six easy steps, six easy simple ingredients, and you're done. It's great. Fresh ingredients. What Hello Fresh does is they do the shopping. They ship it to you, and it's all fresh. You put it together. Sometimes in just 15 minutes, you've got uh, meal time. Just depends on what you're making. And you pick every week. You've got more than 40 things to choose from. So uh, be like Christy Lee yeah. and uh, try something fun and uh, shake up your routine a little bit. By the way, free breakfast for life. That's the new thing from HelloFresh. You join right now, you get free breakfast for the life of your subscription. Keep that subscription active. We're talking about delicious breakfast item. Well, one each in each box you get. By the way, a lot less food waste, which is important in today's world. Join HelloFresh today and get that free breakfast for life with the code BT Show Free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. One breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Shake up your life a little bit with some great food. You pick it. Uh, lots of stuff to choose from, uh, including classic comfort food. And that calorie smart stuff's there, too. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Coming back with some music from Duke and uh, Mr. Pat Godwin. Also, we got uh, beavers in the news, alligators in the news, and a guy who thinks he's a dog. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven baked cheese. It arrives pre baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. 
perfect for game day parties or any time. <laughs> Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh me, the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Oh, now. Good luck. Hello, Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Bates. Hey, Thank Donnie. God. I don't break yet, so I got to get off or I'll get in trouble. But, Chick, we got you on speaker. The guys here at work are wanting you to do uh, Jody Foster talking about the electric <laughs> knife. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of knife did you do? use, Dr. Lecter? <laughs> <laughs> Was it an electric knife, Dr. Uh, Lecter? I could hear the lambs, Dr. Lecter. This is uh, one of your Thank best you. impressions. I think this, this rivals uh, your... Uh, Which one? You're Jimmy Stewart. Oh. And now Jimmy Stewart talks to Jodie Foster. Well, uh, uh, what agent? What was her name in that? Starling. Agent. Uh, agent Agent Starling, do you see a rabbit? <laughs> uh, I don't, Dr. Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> and this has now, been. Can you do, and no, can and. You do her, can you do her doing Nell? Profe Dr. Xavier. I can do that. <laughs> chicka pay, chicka pay. Jody. Get in the car, Jody. Please get in the car. It's not Jody. It's oh yeah. No. See, that's why I could be an actor in a movie. I'd call them by their real names. Clary. Yeah. Cut. Oh, Clary's. Will you change my uh, diaper? Oh I made God. A, made a boom boom. <laughs>
like the whip man. Well, I, I <laughs> don't you whip personally at? have you the whip. It's in the Smithsonian <laughs> Institute. You, right now. you look old, too, now, man. <laughs> you, you, All you... right, listen to me. <laughs> I didn't come here to be talked to by some deranged fan, all right? <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Indian Jones. Uh, all right, fine. Get your whip out, Jones. <laughs> we have a topic today. To stop. We do. The topic today, uh, sort of dovetailing the uh, Super Bowl, it's uh, company slogans. Okay. And a bunch of them are beer slogans. They seem to be uh, <laughs> handy for joke writing, the beer slogans. Uh, Sam Adams, their slogan is, always a good decision. <laughs> Really? Beer is always a good decision? Wait a minute. I can say no. Yes. Been, yes, it ready? is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this might be my favorite slogan ever. Uh, it's such a beer guy slogan. Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. Only a beer slogan could start with the word probably. Like, we don't even know. Who cares? It's got to be top maybe. 100, right? Have a beer already. That is a very fine beer, though. I must it is say. a good beer. Probably the finest. But think about it. No other company could get away with that. Like, you can't have Delta. We'll probably get you there. <laughs> we don't know. You don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you. Don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. The Dot com. One, two, one. Hey, two. welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It is, yeah. uh, what do we, what do we say? Hot mess? Hot mess day? <laughs> what was it? Tomapalooza. Tomapalooza? No, we had something better before Tomapalooza. Weird ass show. Weird that's ass show. It. Oh, that's it. Duke named it. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, it's going to be fun. Absolutely. We have Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. The Brass to Mouth Horns. By the way, I should introduce Duke, of course, on the guitar and vocals. Bill Ritter on the bass. Dawson Willette. What a handsome man on the drums. I let him in the building. I think I saved the show today. Okay. Really? Yeah, thank you. The You're brass, welcome. The Brass to Mouth Horns. Neil Broker on the berry. Uh, Jay Young on sax and flute. PJ Yinger on the trumpet. And coming soon, the Stephen Singer Singers. Did I get that right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Stephen Singer Singers? Yep. Along with Stephen Singer himself, will be here. All right. Uh, we're looking forward to all these things. Uh, by the way, tomorrow will be a special edition of the Chick McGee Shoein of the Week. <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, we're going to get to uh, some NFL stuff here in just a second. And some more music from uh, Duke. Thank you very much, Duke. We look forward to hearing from you guys shortly. But right now, uh, you mentioned something about the NFL and the Peacock and what the heck, what the... <laughs> yes, Tom, that's right. For those NFL fans who were hoping uh, NBC's Peacock streaming only NFL playoff game experiment would blow up in their face, uh, the most, uh, lo the loudest critic is sitting in to my right, Ace Cosby. He was very upset it was on available on Peacock only, correct, Ace? That's correct. And there you go. Well, uh, got bad news for you. According to NBC Universal, a giant conglomerate that owns uh, pretty much 90% of the United States, the live stream of the AFC wildcard round game between the Chiefs and the Dolphins a couple weeks ago accounted for a staggering 30%. Now, listen to this sentence. I'm not going to repeat it. Okay? <laughs> It counted for a staggering 30% of what? Chiefs Dolphins accounted for a staggering 30% of total internet traffic during the game. Whoa. That's crazy. Did total. you hear me? Yeah. 30% Ooh. of everything. What was a Saturday? So that means like Pornhub's numbers were down. Oh, no, I bet, they were, I bet they were number two. Furthermore, a third-party research firm... I wonder who those guys are. I'd like to work for them. <laughs> Call it third party? We're third party, aren't we? <laughs> We're sticking our nose and everything. They, uh, it resulted in the single biggest subscriber acquisition event Peacock has ever recorded. Hmm. Based on preliminary analysts, the company estimates Peacock saw a total of 2.8 million signups over NFL wildcard weekend, according to good. research firm. Now, can people bail now? Tenna. Yes, they can. Well, they, they, do, they do not yeah. have to stay subscribers. They used to do a 30-day free trial. I don't know if they still I don't have know what, You know what they do. They get you in. They bring yeah. you in. They go 30 days. And then, then you forget. And then you, and then, well, you have to, then you have to show up at the gym with a <laughs> that day's in newspaper person. in person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Signature. Yeah. I have mastered the free trial. Have you really? Yes. No kidding? I'm real good at it. <laughs> you know what you don't have? Kids. Because kids oh, sign yeah. you up for free trials, and then the next thing you know. What's the, uh, would you care to share your secret, or is it just? Yeah, I, I, I did it with Apple. You got to uh, stay on the phone? Pre or? Paid visa? Huh? Something. Um, no, no, I, I just cancel. I, you remember I, to cancel. And most of the time, when you, you can cancel immediately, and they go, you still have the 10 days or the 30 days, and the, they just, yeah, so you'd sign up, 
and then you cancel. What was oh. the fee to sign up for Peacock? Probably five ninety nine. Um, yeah, like five ninety nine, seven ninety nine, somewhere around. In there. Oh, so, okay. Not too bad, but not for everybody. I still think it should have been available on regular network TV as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, would they have gotten more revenue if they had more viewers? Be, would they have gotten more revenue from the advertising dollars? What, what's your question? Well, if it's on regular television, they're going to have more people watching. If there are more people watching, they get more money for the ads. I don't know so if it's, I, if you can compare. That sounds to me like apples and oranges. I they're going know. for the long run here. The The long run business play is that all all live sports will eventually be on streaming uh, platforms. That's, that's the goal of the streaming platforms. Hmm. Right. And so this is a good start for them. And I don't know why they're bringing this up, but uh, this company that said the 2.8 million signups, they said using comparable three-day windows, Peacock's AV AFC wildcard game, Chiefs-Dolphins drove more signups than past Super Bowls that were available on subscription streaming platforms. Although that, to me, doesn't have anything because to do with this. Because you still see it on network. Super Bowl is still on free TV right. somewhere, yeah. Uh, Disney Plus in 2019 saw more than 2.5 million signups in a single day, but no other single programming event resulted in as many signups to a service in a three-day period as Peacock had for the Chiefs' Wow. So there it was go. a success for them. Big wow. time success. And uh, the wrestling uh, Raw is going to be on Peacock. Yeah. I guess they're just trying to pick out what night it's going to be on. It's That's exclusive on yep. Peacock. Yeah, that's, that's interesting because I think the WWE has the streaming service already. Uh, the data NBC used Peacock streamed NFL game came the same week Netflix announced that they had required the rights to become the exclusive home of WWE's long-running Raw series mm -hmm. for $5 billion. Wow. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of money in this world, kids. What Wish they'd think, share Tom? some of it. Yeah. Oh, just you just got to reach away. out and take some of it. Well, really? I, uh, uh, are you man enough to take it, as Alec <laughs> no, Baldwin would say? I'm not. Uh, Glenn, Gary Glenn Ross? <laughs> as uh, uh, Josh would say, in other words, he wants you to do OnlyFans. Uh, <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have the energy for that. Well, you hate money. All right. <laughs> okay. All Good right. enough. Uh, what else is happening over there? Uh, we've got one of these. Stupid world record. <sighs> the tourist attraction... <laughs> The tourist attraction called Jumbo Jump. Yes. In yeah. Pakistan. Does anybody want to guess what this is? No. Uh, <laughs> men hope, only. I hope I'll a guess that. not involved. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm almost certain it's men only. <laughs> is yes. It, is a cliff involved? <laughs> or, this, uh, or in this uh, case, uh, uh, male children only. Oh. <laughs> Jumbo Jump in Pakistan has broken the Guinness World Record for the largest inflatable bouncy castle. No oh. way. The inflatable structure named Jumbo Castle measures 15,295.51 square feet <laughs> and has a maximum capacity of 200 people at, what? One, at one time. Man. That's wild. You know, there's always that one kid who's 80 pounds heavier than the rest of the kids that always lands on your kid when you go to those bouncy oh, houses. Jesus. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the, There's always a rougher kid in those. Yeah, yeah, there should be a weight limit on those. Oh it's not God. always about you know, like El Gordo Juniors out there stomping there on little kids trying El to have Gordo. fun. Yeah. Tom, did your bouncy houses move with you? Yeah, I've got a bouncy house at my house. It's in the garage. <laughs> i got to blow it up, though. It's not, not like 15,000 square feet. But That's wild. That's cool. Yeah. How many stories? <laughs> I think only the one. Oh, oh, I yeah, see. I they, haven't, you, yeah. they haven't perfected the multi-story. <laughs> I'm going out to the second floor. <laughs> All right, I, Pakistan, pretty low on my list of places I want to visit. Probably uh, smart. I honestly don't know much about it at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just might know. be the most one of the most beautiful places on earth. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they can all enjoy it. I'll, I'll People pass. might travel for miles around to be in the spot you're standing in right now. You don't know that. I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> uh, More sports uh, coming up. And when I say that, I'm lying. Cleaning okay. off acres of vomit. Uh, coming up, yeah. we've got uh, Stephen Singers, our special guest. Uh, we're going to talk jewelry. We're going to talk singers. And where you've got Duke Tomato and the Power Trio with some music. And I believe Mr. Godwin's coming back with a song. Yeah. When, when we return. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. It's a little, little baby butt. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Mm -hmm. Creamy. <laughs> is it creamy? <laughs> Got hair on your butt? That grossed me out saying Not that. really. No hair on your butt? No. Nope. So sorry, Christine. No grass don't grow on a racetrack. I don't have ah! hair. I don't have that much hair on my ass, no. Okay. 
Mm, okay, I, could we move on? When I shave, I have to kind of get in there. That's where it is. <laughs> oh you know what I mean? That's it's like. Oh wait, 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 what? what? You shave your. You shave butt? your ass crack? Yeah, I shave the crack. God. Oh my God. You got, what? Why wouldn't I? Uh, is that a weird here? thing? That's weird. I didn't know this was weird. Do you have a, a you separate? Can you stand up and show me how that works? I mean, no, don't. I don't want to see that. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to unsee what I saw ten minutes ago. Typically, I lay on my side. Uh-huh. I'm glad you'd warn me about the tan line. You thing. lay on your side. Yes, and so I'll lay on my wow. side. I'll put a towel down on the bed, and then I lay on my side. Wait a minute. And you I have, have a series of mirrors, and I have the clippers. No, I just I you're just shaving guess. your clippers. I don't do I don't do that. I don't. Think you I've didn't want to hear this. This is you 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 clip you, it on your you bed? trim your buttocks with electric clippers. Yes. Are these plugged into the wall? Yes. <laughs> so you got so you got this cord. Is you're working around a cord while lying on a. Towel? When not, I said it's not that difficult. When I said don't go anywhere for the next ten minutes, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to happen. Well when you lay on your side, so do you, I don't, so do you have a mirror up against another mirror? I don't have a mirror. No. You just do it by feel? Yes. Yeah, like Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Josh. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you for averting so all you're, this um, all of me to you because you're using electric clippers like you'd use on a dog. I on, suppose on your r- rear end. Yes. Not so much. The, the cheeks aren't very hairy. It's the... How do you know that? you got to get up in there. So you did one point I get, don't, get in uh, front of a full-length mirror with another mirror? And I like to keep house. I mean, I don't, don't let go it go... You don't go that far up, do But you? I don't... I, uh, well, I'm trying to think where I stop. Maybe maybe are it you, is kind of... Are you expecting company? <laughs> No. <laughs> well, maybe, you know? maybe sometimes. You never expect company. <laughs> you want to be ready for it. You keep your house clean, don't you? In okay, case so you have a pop-in? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my real house, yes. <laughs> so um, are these uh, these clippers then, are these, uh, do you, you don't use the same one on your beard, I assume. Okay, that's correct. You that's a separate, correct. There's a separate. You, yeah. you mark them with like red tape on no, the cord No, I just, I just know which is different. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> like, <does> you, <laughs> you know what? I... I use the same trimmer everywhere on my beard. Really? It's a trimmer. Yeah. You yeah, but you're rinse not, it. But, you, but you're not back there, you know, near the oil derrick. Well, according to... <laughs> <laughs> the dirt button. The old devil's you know, underground. You, you know, the, 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 the dirt, really, when the I dirt say starfish. In there, it's not really up. I mean, it's... The, the gluteal cleft, I guess, is what you would call it. Right. You're, you're, in the, you're in the area there. Yeah, right? sure. It's in the area. Trimmer. Yeah. But I usually well, do it post... Uh, shower when you can get electrocuted? Sometimes there's pre... <laughs> you, have, do, you, do, you don't think I towel? Do you have those, do you have those plugs? The, <laughs> what are they? Or GFI, whatever the hell they are? Of course he does. So in case you're, you're still a little bit of moisture back You know, there, I never considered zapped. that this might be Weird. uncommon. Yeah. I got to say, I don't think I've ever heard anybody... Huh. Talk about that. I'm before. sure people do it. They're just smart enough not to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> On a radio show. <laughs> eh, it doesn't bother. Uh, waiter, could I have a shrimp cocktail? And uh, I'll get back to my discussion of shaving my ass crack <laughs> <laughs> with my date. <laughs> I think that comes up at dinner, but... Uh, I hope not. Well, <clears throat> I know many females that have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Along with, uh, yeah. Okay. That's true. Women, yeah, it's, it's not really the cheeks. Right. It's, it's probably up, just the... Yeah. That's not... The, the cracker. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cracker, the cracker. Right. The little from. cracker. They have the to... Crack, the, the sphincter? Crack. I, 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 I combined crack and area. Uh, the cracker. Crack cracker. Area. Crack area. Now, do you, uh, do you do the bleaching down there? I've, no. I've read no, about there's that. There's no reason to... I don't think anybody's really getting... Close so, enough to yeah, not, look. Nobody's, nobody has a jeweler's eye. Really, <laughs> <laughs> taking, <laughs> examining it. Um, if you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop.
You can pick your morning radio show, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, in my fantasy, I am making love to this woman, yeah. and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety That's first. Safe. Tony Edwards is here with us. I got this one T-shirt. It says, uh, it's a black thing you wouldn't understand. I feel kind of bad when I wear it because it leaves a lot of people left out. See, I think everyone should have their own T-shirt so everyone can feel the same kind of pride. Like maybe, you know, it's a Japanese thing you wouldn't understand because you're lazy and stupid. You know, it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's an Amish thing. I made this shirt. You know, it's, like, <laughs> it's a Republican thing. Give me a dollar and I'll explain it to you. <laughs> Equal time. It's a Democratic thing. Give me a dollar. (laughs) (laughs) Understand, wouldn't you, thing dyslexic? Uh, It's. Uh, Everyone, you know, uh, it's a blonde thing. I don't understand. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan joins us in the studio. Uh, Jim is a veteran uh, comedian and actor, famous for a couple of oddball appearances on Sex in the City. Uh, uh, but I am an actor and a comedian, but I'll tell you guys, I wish I was a film director just in everyday life. So when someone was telling me a boring story, I could just go, and cut. <laughs> <laughs> We got it. That's a wrap. God. When you think about it, that would come in handy. You come home oh, late, God. your wife's yeah. like, where the hell were you? And cut. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. This time you don't care where I was. In fact, you're happy to see me. Let's try a topless. Action. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. The essential morning radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Guitar. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance studio. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold with a special in-studio, very special in-studio guest. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. You're Our here. Name. Hearing some live music as it happens. We've got Tom- Tomapalooza. Uh, a little bit of action going on with uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. I, if I'm not mistaken, I can see the, uh, oh, there, there's the horn section. Of course, we've got the uh, brass to mouth horns. And I can see the Steven Singer singers. Yep. Are right there. Hi, ladies. Aren't they pretty? Uh, we got Amy and Allie. Ain't they pretty? Oh. Boy, you can, you, you got game. You, what, Riz? You've got Riz. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to put the uh, Stephen Singer singers to work here shortly. Thank you very much, Duke. Thank you, ladies. We like watching you move. Um, oh. Now, uh, um. what? That's a fair uh. statement. I What's the matter? I like he watching said, them move. The, Did you see they were doing a little the bit Stephen of... The Stephen Singer singers? Yeah, yes. they were kind of bouncing and shaking and <laughs> in, in motion. It's, uh, you know, we have uh, attorneys on staff, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. Uh, 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 Probably a few in the building right now. We okay. now, uh, uh, now Ace, if you wanted to see that, how would you do that? Go to our, <laughs> go to our YouTube page. Bob and Tom. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, uh, we are joined in the studio by Mr. Steven Singer himself, who is uh, not the leader of the Steven Singer Singers. He's uh, the leader of uh, Steven Singer Jewelers. Um, <laughs> He's the leader of Valentine's Day, if you ask me. That's right. He invented yeah. it. He's the captain of Valentine's Day. It's hey, true. Steven. Good morning, guys. I'm so happy to be here in the studio. This is fantastic. The energy here. Oh, it's something. Man, the band here. (laughs) The girls are here. Hang on, Stephen. Just a second. Hang on. That's great. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) All right. Good night. (laughs) Stephen, it's great to see you. Uh, Stephen actually is, is a newsmaker. I often refer to the International News Wire. Yes, and um, you and Walter Winchell. That's exactly right. Uh, but there, there is a, uh, there, there are various news sources out there. We like to call it the Wire, the you, Wire of the Associated like Press, wire. Reuters, UPI. Uh, yeah, you're doing that. Uh, yeah. And um, Mr. Singer managed to uh, make the uh, international news scene by uh, offering <laughs> up a $1 million diamond engagement ring. Tell me the details, Stephen. Well, um, Travis Kelsey. Never heard of him. Um, <laughs> he's a football player. You may have heard of him. He yeah, won, yeah, won yeah. a couple games. Right. And um, Taylor Swift, someone else you may not have heard of. Um, <laughs> right. She's she's a new new singer on, on the uh, on the scene. 
are uh, in love. It seems that they're intimately going to get engaged. <laughs> And we offered them a $1 million custom diamond ring, seven and a half carats, um, for free um, if he would give her this ring. Or we'll design them any ring that they would want because uh, Taylor Swift can pretty much have anything she wants. <laughs> and yeah. the Kelsey brothers are popular. One of them plays in Philly, as you guys know, or, right. or hopefully still plays in Philly. Yeah. We don't know that if yeah. he's going to retire or not. But we love the Kelsey brothers. We love her. Um, and my daughter, the whole reason I did it is my daughter has been a Taylor Swift fan forever. And she went, when, she, when he wasn't even, she wasn't even a headliner. When she was second on the bill, she went, she's been to every tour. She's actually flying to Italy this summer to see her uh, with her friends on tour, building a whole vacation around that. All right. And so she wants tickets. So I figured if I give him a million dollar ring, I could probably get tickets. Probably. Uh, maybe. maybe backstage. Maybe. I, I, something. You know what? Yeah, 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 we maybe. guarantee Don't hold that. your breath. And then I'll be the father of the year if that yeah. happens. Mm. But uh, it, we, we may just get a little bit of publicity from this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Not been yet. in like five countries so far and about 70 or 80 news outlets. Okay. It's the International Newswire. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, uh, how big would The Rock be on a million dollar? It's uh, seven and a half million. carats what is that? total what, weight. Uh, give me that in. Um, it's the size of a softball, Tom. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's bigger than a dime, let's say the center stone, almost the size of a nickel. What size are uh, the like, side like, stones? Uh, the side stones, you know, that's a great question. Only a woman would ask that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know the so size. So there's a big stone in the center right. and then two smaller stones they on the side. They are 66 points each, a carat and 32 on the side. So okay. it's a, a carat and a third on the sides that accent the center stone. Side stones? Yes. yes. Well, you got to have some side stones. Have you know how I work? Oh, the, the right. big one in the middle is not enough, no, lady? No, it's not. No, no, no. <laughs> and remember, Josh, uh, yeah, coming up with a free engagement ring, that might not be the way to go. Some ladies might not enjoy that. Right. Well, we offered to give a million dollars, uh, the same value as the ring, to the charity of their choice if they want to pay for it, if he wants to shell out the bucks. Sure. Um, which I think he could scrape together. Yeah, I think and, so. um, and, do, and do that. So that we'll, we'll do anything anything they want, but I would be, it would be the so, the cherry on my Sunday. It would be the, my crowning jewel if I could make a ring If I could Just, make a ring, it would have looked like that. Well, that's a very vintage oh. style, which yeah. I know you like. This does, this ring, does this ring actually exist yet? Oh, yeah, it's in our safe. It's, oh, uh, really? we have it. Oh, yeah, we've oh, been on TV it. with I it and like that. I would have modeled it for you. And, uh, I, uh, I would absolutely. Yeah, you, you should have brought it with you. You'd have never made it to the studio. But <laughs> yes. you should have. You're here, but it's currently in your safe. Yes. Uh, i got to make a phone call. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. Yes. There you, it is. Yeah, there it is. Hop right out of that uh, Steven Singer sidekick chair Look and go that. pick that bad boy up. Yes. Very okay. art deco. Yeah, it's all handmade uh, in our shop. Steven, it's really classic. It's very a very classic, classic style. And that would be a million dollars. Yep. A million dollars, yes. But it's not gaudy at all. It looks really lovely. No, it's understated. She's, yes. she's very understated. She likes vintage stuff. She didn't... I, I know from the Swifties and my uh, little bit of a connection that she wanted something understated, not over the top, and that's yeah, very, very Perfect. classic. But really, you know... 100% uh, eye flawless near color. I mean, it's a magnificent sure. ring that anybody would be happy well, to so, have. So um, what's the um, oh, a tentative uh, engagement? Has there been some kind of uh, preview no. of this? Is they said they're, they want to do it before or near around a year is what the rumors are anyway. And I think they've been going out eight months, something like that, okay. nine months. So it's so. not going to happen before right. the Super Bowl. Now, anybody no. that can't afford the million-dollar ring, we make replicas of that, ones that look like that. They're slightly smaller. In a much more affordable price oh, range. Okay, so, there so you go. If you want the Taylor Swift look and you don't have Taylor Swift's money, we can do that for you. Okay. okay. All right. Nice. We'll get to that. We'll get back to that and more coming up. But right now, I understand that we have um, uh, Mr. Godwin in the other studio, uh, along with uh, Duke Tomato and the boys. We've got a, 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 a news story that applies to one of Pat's songs. Oh, right. how about that? Officials in Texas say a road was washed away due to a beaver dam. KTRK. We're a TV station in Houston. Reports a large chunk... You're not even trying anymore. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> Reports that a large chunk of Crystal Lakes West washed away last week, all but cutting off a neighborhood in Livingston and sparking a shelter-in-place order. According to Polk County officials... Polk County, County officials. Annie, I know. <laughs> um, a beaver dam blocked a pipe in a culvert, which led to flooding amid heavy rainfall. Oh, I love culvert. They're butter burgers and their onion rings. The and... flooding loosened the dirt, causing the road to wash away. So they're blaming the beavers. Yep. 
Beaver gone. Oh. oh. Well, now, uh, Pat, are you there? I can see you. I am. I almost said oh, We've got a nice crowd in there with you. Oh, they're adorable. Good-looking crowd. Individually, a couple rough spots. <laughs> That's not bad. Good-looking people. Just a okay. couple rough spots. It's not right. bad at all. Uh, now, um, we had another song about another, uh, excuse me, another news story about beavers. These these pesky beavers are always in the news. Yeah. And um, you, you have a tribute. And uh, you want to give a little background on this song? Well, you and I used to go down the street to a restaurant that served a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of a wild game, and that's where the idea for this song came from. Yeah, they they would have not just venison, but they would have you know you know duck and elk, right, and uh, just all kinds of stuff that you can eat, but I mean typically you don't, and um, that restaurant's no longer there. Right, uh, enough that what that says, but uh. <laughs> that inspired the song. <laughs> okay, here we go. I went to a place that served exotic dishes like elk and wild boar. I heard it was delicious, but one thing I ate made me sick. It's so sad to see. Good beaver gone bad. Good beaver gone bad. Oh, it was tough and dry. I took a whiff and almost fainted. The pink had turned brown and it tasted kind of tainted. You take your chances eating out. I, I should have had to try old. Good beaver gone bad. One more time now. Good beaver gone bad. You want it fresh. Don't let it spoil rotten. Or leave it hanging around where it's forgotten. You got to eat it while it's hot because pretty soon it's not. Good beaver goes bad. You and me, PJ. Sometimes a beaver makes that sound. <laughs> Let me hear you, PJ. That's it. The mic's down. The love is dried up. It once was so delicious. She's cruel and she's cold now, vile and vicious. She was up to no good while she gnawed on the wood. Yeah, good beaver gone bad. Everybody now, good, good beaver, good beaver, good, good beaver gone bad. PJ, very nice, very <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Sometimes a beaver makes that sound. Thank you very much, Pat. Very nice. Now, um, I will point out that uh, Patty G is going to be at Pat Coslett's uh, in Evansville Saturday, February 10th for a great live show along with uh, Jeff Oskey. In the meantime, we need to get the uh, Steven Singer Singers up there and uh, Duke Tomato to introduce uh, this uh, segment of our program. Our special guest is, in fact, Mr. Steven Singer, the man who has um, offered Taylor Swift and uh, Mr. Kelsey a $1 million engagement ring. There are the Steven Singer Singers. Hi, ladies. Good to see you again. <laughs> um, I'm on your left. You Hi. It's not like you're really people. It's like you're pets. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Just being nice. Uh, Sorry, girls. We have Amy and Allie there, and uh, Amy, I, can, I can hear Duke. Or Allie. Uh, Duke, uh, do you want to give me the official Steven Singer jingle? One, two, one, two, three. With the Steven Singer Singer. <laughs> I'm Bob and Tom. Singer.com. Well, that's good. Yeah, you know, I'm, sure, I'm not sure what kind of an honor that is. I, the, the singers just said they hate him. No, I, I hate Stephen Singer. Is where you find Stephen Singer Jewelers. And by the way, that's where you also find the exclusive Malibu Pink Gold Dipped Rose. There's one right over there. Uh, look at that. This is an actual rose oh, dipped in gold. Gorgeous. And these are the uh, fastest selling ever from Steven Singer Jewelers. And by the way, you got to be careful. Make sure when you log on to IHateStevenSinger.com, you get the real Steven Singer. S-T-E-V-E-N. Don't fall for some fake one. Steven Singer Jewelers, the Malibu pink, uh, hand-painted by artisans. And they're gorgeous, and they're real roses, and they're dipped in 24-karat gold. They're just $59 starting right there. And uh, let's see now. Wait a minute. You just get a rose in a loose envelope. You get a personalized Valentine's Day card, the free lifetime guarantee, and the signature gift box, which I can see right over there. Yes. So, uh, fellas, if you haven't done this yet, what's wrong with you? You can uh, take care of Valentine's Day, because let's face it, it's an obligation. Oh. And uh, 
Uh, you know what I'm talking about, Christy. Well, you're such a romantic. Don't listen to, it's a pleasure yes, to, thank I'm you. Just to saying, honor your loved I, ones. Uh, I'm trying to help here. Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's what makes it sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help. You go to com. Okay, sure, you can get maybe a bracelet for your sweetie or some beautiful earrings. I'll tell you what, those, uh, those diamond stud earrings, that'll knock her out of the... Uh, uh huh. You know, she'll be very upset. No, wait a minute. You she'll love those. You could set them inside the rose. That would be great. There's an interesting idea. Yeah. Oh, look at this or beautiful bracelet. Or you could bracelet. put them inside some mashed potatoes. And, uh, oh, that uh, bracelet's awesome. But uh, mashed potatoes. Yeah, you put the earrings in the mashed potatoes, then she takes a bite. She'll swallow them. Yeah, it breaks the tooth. And yeah. Uh, That's emergency good. dental uh, four yeah. days Well, later. you know how couples get together on Valentine's Day and eat mashed potatoes. <laughs> of course. That you one. know, guys, they're doing wonderful things at mental institutions these days. You guys are going to check it out. You know, it's, uh, uh, we'll check it out. Yeah, uh, uh, it's only a matter of time. What a story you'd have. Hey, uh, that's a beautiful bracelet. Oh, yeah, we had to uh, go th <laughs> had to sift through my uh, All right. defecant no. for a week. I swallowed it like a tapeworm. Had to Sorry, Mr. Uh, tapeworms, <laughs> defecant, God. Valentine's Day. Is there a way I can get out of this contract? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Not a, uh, sadly, is there a rider of some sort that I could... Uh, so, oh, no, you're trapped. Uh, Let's go. So see what's going on uh, with uh, IHateStevenSinger.com. For all kinds of jewelry like you, and the Malibu pink <laughs> 24 karat gold dip rose. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't you like a nice set of earrings too, Chris? Come on. Yes. Wouldn't it be course. funny there in the mashed potatoes? Yes. And then you gotta... No, stop. Thank you, dude. Please keep singing. Yeah. I'm Bob and Tom. But I hate StevenSinger.com. That's nice to shut you guys up. Thank you, dude. Steven Singer Singers. Steven Singer Singers. Bob and Tom. Bob and Tom. Hey, StevenSinger.com. Thank you very much, Duke. Thank you very much, Steven. We'll come back and try to... Try to repair the damage that's just been done. <laughs> Why are we putting you in your car? <laughs> get, the, get the jacket. Here we go. <laughs> well, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is comedian Sean Mori, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Jim Harbaugh. Hi. Your earliest impressions were, of course, of your teachers at school. Uh, yeah, so I used to do. Uh, yeah, can, can you like, do like Mr. Halinak for us or whatever? Uh, it was Mr. Christensen. Was the uh, he was the uh, G, well a U.S. history teacher, mm -hmm. and I knew nothing. He'd always send me to the map because he knew I knew nothing about any of it. Like, we're going to go to our uh, resident map expert, Mr. Caliendo. Can you show us where the United States is? <laughs> <laughs> I'd point to blue. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Caliendo. <laughs> he was also the basketball coach, so I just do him. To, we're going to shoot free throws. We're going to run laps. We're going to shoot more free throws. Free throws. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Caliendo. <laughs> what was the first one you did that worked? An impression? Yeah. Or like a... Ca like a Famous actor or... Uh, uh, I mean, it was guy. Muppets. It was Muppets yeah. first, as you could tell by the incredible Miss Piggy. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Did I lay down you earlier? <laughs> um, <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I would watch In Living Color. I would watch, uh, you know, the, the these are things I couldn't really use in my act because they were people's characters from sketches, but like the Damon Wayans uh, bum character that... <laughs> my name is Anton. I'm a victim of society. I'm an entertainer. Oh, Anton. <laughs> yeah. He'd have the pickle in the yes, car. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you, can, can you sing you a song? Can you do Fire Marshal Bill? Uh, let me show you something. <laughs> I'd say there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, because that. that was like people doing the character, so you could, so you could jump on and do those characters, which is what a lot of people do that with impressions now. They just watch other people. I've heard Kevin Pollack. I don't know if I, I, I Kevin Pollack might have been the first person to say this, but I see the same thing he does. Is people unlock an impression, and then once it's unlocked, everybody can do it. So you watch the person who's figured it out, and it really has to do with cadence. Um, with, uh, with I've talked about this before, but with Barack Obama, he would talk uh, slow at the beginning and speed up at the end. So you could always think, <laughs> how many uh, uh, William Shatner, have you heard? How many, uh, a high Christopher Walken low in the middle? You know who it is because they all ignore punctuation. You know, right. So it's if you can get the cadence down, you don't even have to have the, the pitch. So... 
Um, it's, I, I'm probably not answering the question anymore, but it, it, Muppets were the first thing I did, some cartoon kind of characters and stuff like that, stuff I wouldn't even consider really impressions. But what's the hardest? Uh, who's the hardest one to write for? Um, because sometimes if you have the voice, there's some impressions you see them and you go, "Boy, that's dead on," and you go, "But there's okay." No I, I've had a Bill, I've had a Billy Crystal forever, but I had no idea what I would even do with it. It's one of those voices that just <laughs> he doesn't do much. Yeah. Sully, and, you know. Yeah. Hey, yeah, let's so go. Good. Come on, guys. We're gonna go over here. It's just one of those things. <laughs> um, but here it works. And uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s one that uh, I'm sure I've done that too for you. But it's the he's the human Twitter feed. Uh, he talks in little phrases, and everything's about himself. He could be giving out an Academy Award, which is supposed to be about the nominees, but it would turn it back to him like, these people deserve your applause <laughs> almost as much as I do. <laughs> Hashtag awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so like, do me a favor. You're doing great right now for you. You know, that's, <laughs> that's he's just, he can just, he can insult you and be positive, <laughs> backhanded compliment for everything. Chick, you do a great job sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank Why don't you. you do me a favor and text yourself? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. <laughs> I, mean, I think the US, U.S. government should write a song called Whatever Happened to Willie's 1040? <laughs> that was a tax joke for the accountants. Woo! Essential morning radio all day and all night. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. And for today, it's the S Stephen Singer Studios. Here we are. Oh, there you are. That's right. There you go. Very nice. And here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Um, good morning. It's Tom Apalooza. Live music. We've invited some of our closest friends in. We've got a bunch of folks here. Um, yeah. it, we're in... Uh, Evidently, there's Melon. Melon. Is there really Melon? Did you hear talk of Melon? I did not. Oh, yes. I hear talk of Melon. There's a... Uh, name of Melon. We've Honey got do. it. Honeydew. Done. Oh, got cantaloupe. it. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Got it. But Dad's got the ladder. Must. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> No, um... What? Yeah, I, I, I get it. An eloping joke. That's very clever. Okay. <laughs> um, we are having uh, some special guests watching us this morning, and we've got Duke Tomato and the boys live. And uh, we just heard from the Steven Singer singers in honor of Mr. Singer being here. What and a fun I, morning. And I enjoyed the uh, flute that uh, Jay Young was playing that's been added to the uh, Steven Singer song. Hey, that guy's good. Real you get any woodwind or brass in front of him, he knows what to do. Yep. That's very nice. Very nice. Uh, now we're going to get a song out of Duke in a matter of moments. Just try and keep his mouth off of it. Uh, Duke yeah. sounding good. By the way, I'll remind you, Duke is at the Token Lounge, Westland, Michigan, coming up tomorrow night. 
in the famous Jazz Kitchen on Saturday. No, that has to be tonight because tomorrow night is Saturday night. It can't be two places at once. No, it's, no, it's Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow. Oh, it is Thursday. Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday. God, got I'm Alzheimer's sorry. kicking in, huh? Yeah, it all is. right. <laughs> We've got one Alzheimer's patient in here. We can't have more sorry. than one at one time. Well, I could have sworn it was Friday. Old Lady Lee. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Oh well. Okay. Uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, I know. Uh, uh, Friday and Saturday, February second and third, Kingston Mines, Chicago. You'll find Duke Tomato oh, in the that's flower a fun tree. Place. Duke, let's take a short break. We'll get a song out of you in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to do this next world record yep. in the, the sports cast under protest. All right. You will. It will become. It will become obvious almost immediately what my problem is with this. <laughs> there are many, many problems with this world record. Okay. Here we go. Stupid world record. A Polish woman yes. uh -huh. <laughs> has broken the Guinness World Record for the longest duration full body contact with ice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Katza's... Can't, can't, oh. <laughs> hang on. I'm going to yeah, get we're it. Gonna we're gonna yeah, we're yeah. going to hang on. Yeah. I'm going to get it. Katazinia? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's but I don't feel anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's... Huh? It's Katarzynia. There's yeah. an other. Yeah. Jaku uh -huh. Jakubowska. The, the J is the J is pronounced like a Y. Stood submerged <laughs> to her neck. Katarzynia Yakoboyska. Stood submerged uh, to her neck in ice for three hours, six minutes, and 45 seconds Whoa. to achieve the record. Yeah. Her husband's name is Dick Azinia. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen. Stephen, behave yourself. Oh, no, the I'm just reporting to uh, the dear, story. Dear, what was dear. her name? Kata Gazinia. It is Kata that's, that's a little known fact in that Dick news Kazinia. story. Yeah. Well, thank you that's for, sure. for adding to that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> According to Guinness, this record has only been achieved by men in the past. Oh, oh. good for her. The male record is held by, oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Another Polish uh, person. It's uh, Krzysztof Gajewski. No, wow. there's, my, there's another syllable in Krzysztof. It's no, Krzysztof. The, there's, a, there's an Associated Press pronouncer there. <laughs> there's a, it's Krzysztof Gajewski. Okay, all right. Kajewski, Kajewski. It's Kajewski? Kajewski. <laughs> Y-E-V, Kajewski. You know, maybe... There's a J in it. Maybe yes, that's, the J, the J. that's a Y and, and uh, police. Police? That's what it's That's the at. official language, please. Really? Police Navidad. <laughs> uh, police Navidad. So, um... This lady is essentially standing in ice water. Yeah, that right. yeah. sounds uh, tough. Just her face uh, sticking out. And Ooh, uh, she's, lovely. by the way, uh, she is extremely attractive. Mm. Well, that makes well, it not, uh, over, not, not overweight at all, right? Well, it's just and, then, and she was. Well, I can't see because she's only from her neck. Yeah. But she was tested for uh, both performance enhancing drugs. And uh, having witches boobs. <laughs> oh yeah, those can get real colds. <laughs> and, and, the, and the tin bra. Yeah. So she was wearing a yeah. tin bra. Yeah. yeah. And and her husband Dick's goes in you. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's plural now. <laughs> oh, sorry. sorry. Dick goes in you. <laughs> She's very accommodating. What is that? DVD? DVDA? Or? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Why are witches boobs so we have a so cold? I don't, I don't know. Aren't Why they are swinging they? over a bubbling cauldron yeah. most of the time? Mm -hmm. I think that some of that steam yeah, would heat them they, up. Where that came from? You'll have to look into mm. that. All right. Um, yeah, I want to get back to it. And isn't there a brass monkey involved in that thing? Uh, brass monkey? That funky monkey? Isn't uh, Isn't there... Temperature related to a brass monkey's... Uh, yeah. Uh, some yard art that is a brass monkey, and he has testicles. And if it reaches a certain... <laughs> no. If like they it go reaches up or a certain air temperature, the testicles no. fall off the monkey. They do? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I hope so. That absolutely exists. I think I saw it like a Sky Mall catalog. I think <laughs> I'm looking that up. Is that was on Shark Tank, wasn't it? Uh, is there some kind of witches? You know, for those reasons, I'm <laughs> I think Lori uh, went ahead. Yeah, I, I have my golden ticket just for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so in any that event, happens. So uh, why don't they have a witch with a tin bra you could put out in your yard? Yeah, I, uh, who knows? In any event, the, the, this lady has the world record, so congratulations. Look up decorative monkey testicles. I am. There's right. tons of monkeys. Wouldn't there, wouldn't there be a danger that you would die standing in ice water for three hours? I would think. I'm sure she was regulated. Yeah. They were regulating something while she was doing it. Regulators, mount, mount up! <laughs> <laughs> but how uh, would they do that? And that would, well... I thought they didn't allow records where you could potentially die. No, okay. no, that's not the case at all. Guinness is uh, taking names. No, yeah, yeah, there. There. Do you remember the one <laughs> a couple years ago? They it, love cheating. Down. Do you remember the the world? They were having the world sauna competition. 
and it sounded. Yeah, that, yeah they had to quit doing that one. Well, that's because one of the guy. Well, the guy that won. He kind of won. Oh, like, yeah, he died, didn't well, he? he cooked his liver. He was still yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. Remember this? Yes. The, it, it, the guy literally baked. Yeah, no, that's... He, you can't. You don't win if you die. Oh, you have to be breathing? Yeah, yeah, I think okay. you have to be alive. You lose. Okay, well, this is this is just the opposite. <laughs> uh, okay. Any well, update on the brass monkey decorative yard art? <laughs> <laughs> I want, I, I'm, I, somebody's going to make this for me. I know that. <laughs> so, see, yeah. you made that up. Okay, well, um, let's... Uh, let Pretty this... good lie, though, wasn't so, it? Is that sports? Yes, that's sports. Okay, talk. thank you very much. Uh... Hey, Lucky. Nick. This is what you farted for. Whatever you go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. Christy. A Reddit user going viral after claiming their flight was delayed due to a passenger's excessive... Flatulence? Yep. Hmm. The alleged incident Josh? occurred on an American <laughs> Airlines flight. It wasn't me this time. From <laughs> Phoenix to Austin. Following the boarding process, they overheard a man loudly say, quote, You thought that was rude. Well, what about this smell? And farted. Yeah. <laughs> He's letting them have it. <laughs> Apparently, was, I, I was reading about this. Can I finish? The guy, uh, I? this all started, I guess, just this is, this is one of my pet peeves. The people got on the plane with a bunch of food. And the food really stunk. Oh. The guy in, in the oh, like said, a <clears throat> like a teriyaki chicken subway yeah, with extra exactly. onions or so, so people said, complained and he said if you think that's yeah. rude right yeah. there was and a then, okay. and then, right. Right. allegedly there was a back and forth between the person dubbed fart man and several other passengers before flight attendants <laughs> stepped in and the plane began preparing for takeoff the user wrote the plane suddenly stopped <laughs> on the runway the pilot announced they would be returning to the gate <laughs> <laughs> all right. A flight attendant informed Park Man he would have to get off the plane to the relief of the other passengers. Hey, play one more. Godwin didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jay. The incident you delayed okay? the flight about half an hour. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, you've got to do those back to back as quick as you can. I, I think it'll cut it off because they're both kind of short. So it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Next. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the if the masks would come down. Is that uh, no? I don't think uh, that, are those, are those, are those that, triggered by? <laughs> I, I think just the lack of oxygen. oxygen yeah. Oh, okay. Not smell. No, right. unfortunately, okay. that's right. about. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's switch gears here <laughs> and let's get some. Uh, let's get into the other room. We have uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio, the Brass to Mouth Horns, and the Steven Singer Singers. And um, Duke, yes. How about some? Uh, how about some <laughs> music for us? Yes. Uh, what do you feel like playing? What's uh, what's on the Duke Tomato? Well, we can uh, we could do anything you want. I okay, mean, you have something that features uh, the, uh, the ladies doing their oohs and ahs in the background. We did. I think they disappeared. Yeah, I don't blame them. They. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they disappeared. Okay. Well, well no, no, no. I think I think they got paid and took off. I mean, they're they're musicians. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you they play had, you got, play they, whatever you want. Then. Well, no, they got food and they got paid. <laughs> And they sang a song. Oh, here they come. This is really fun. Okay. All right. All right. We'll okay. kick her off. We got things to do here. Well, shush, man. You asked for this stuff. Wake up. <laughs> you know. We're ready to go now. Monkey on a stick here, business. One, man. two, three. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, there are the girls. Don't, okay. Here don't we go. have it in me. Okay. This That's a good really, one. Yes, it will. It was, really, because we had no rehearsal with them at all. This will be fun. You ready for Oh, you guys got it? Oh, they got to get the horn players have to get their shorts. Shorts out. It's better if you tell me this stuff in advance. I tried. <laughs> I want to know, why does the power trio have eight people? <laughs> Tom, your thoughts. That's a valid question. Yeah. It's a big crowd. No, there, okay, Stephen, think about the name of the show you're on. There you go. Let's put this in perspective. One, two, one, two, three. can't do nothing right I can't take it what can I say I pack my back make a getaway yes for certain babies yes for sure don't have it in me to put it in her no more Perfect 
and don't smell right. Does not like that movie that I took her to last night. I work too much, but I'm always around. Your half voice can be an irritating sound, man. Yes, for certain, lady. Yes, for sure. Don't have it in me to put it in her no more. Lord, I don't have it in me. Don't have it in me. Don't to have it in me. Don't have it in me. Don't to have it in me. Don't to have it in me. Don't have it in me. Don't have it in me. Don't have it in me. Yes, for certain. Yes, for sure. Don't have it in me to put it in her no more. I know. Is on some eternal quest. I wish she put that thing to rest. <laughs> yes, for certain, baby. Yes, for sure. Don't have it in me to put it in her no more. Lord, I don't have it in me. 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 I don't have it in me. 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 Yes, for certain, baby. Yes, for sure. Don't have it in me to put it in her no more. Don't have it in me. Don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. Don't have it in me. No, I don't have it in me. 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 That's the same, baby. That's the sure. Don't have it in me to put it in her. To our world record holder, um, uh, Katsrinya Jabalowski, and her husband, uh, Christoph Dixinia. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, the, uh, the very fine uh, Polish folks with that new world record. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll remind you that uh, Duke is at the Token Lounge, Westland, Michigan, Friday night. The Jazz Kitchen, Saturday for a couple shows in Kingston Mines, Chicago, Friday and Saturday, February 2nd and 3rd. Coming up in the news, Christy Lee. Well, if you're out there looking for a job, humor bragging might be the way to seal the deal, so to speak. We'll talk about that. Hmm. We have an accident at a tombstone, at a cemetery involving a tombstone. Oh, boy. Yeah, and a lot of dog news today. Um, a guy who transformed himself into a dog doesn't want to be judged. No? No. Hmm. Well, guess what, sir? <laughs> I'm a judging. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see this. Yeah. Oh, no. It's unbelievable. Coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call. Brett Michaels is our guest, and uh, can we talk music for just a second? Sure. you got a lot of TV stuff going on, of course, but uh, this all started for you as a musician. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, uh, let's go way, way back. Uh, first, Very first band that actually had a gig that you were in. Um, that was Laser, and let me explain the ridiculousness of the comedy of errors that is my life. <laughs> we decided we wanted the ACDC Lightning Bolt slash Kiss Z. Mm -hmm. It was like an S. So we were Laser, L-A-Z. ER. Mm -hmm. Then we had no money for a backdrop 
like Kiss had, right? So we decided right. we took one of the old school, I'm going way back, old school bed sheets. You remember they used to make those 3D looking bedspreads that have like a tiger mm -hmm. or a, so we had the band laser with a tiger backdrop. That was our backdrop. And then we went to Chess King where oh, we yeah. bought love it yes, oh, yes. 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 We yes. King. are they even still around no, 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 wait, wow. no wait I'm going back a few I years. know you are yeah. the, uh, I got our members only jackets mm -hmm. and uh, oh, we stopped nice. into Chess King yes. at the Capital City Mall and they only had three of the four uh, aluminum foil looking members only chromish jackets mm -hmm. and three of the four members had to walk around with it and the other member the drummer <clears throat> was left out and then we would change off the jackets and we had our first gig in, in Marlin or my friend Marlin in Jan's basement charged 25 cents and about six of the neighborhood kids came down uh, and we played a couple kiss songs and then what we didn't know we just put the record on Played a lot. You know, we, we played along. Like, we don't know all of this song. Yeah, we had the beginning we'll... of Rock and Roll All Night. <laughs> and then we went to the, we referenced the album. Sure. After that. <laughs> Look oh, at that's that. Great. Laser. Laser. And what, did, may I ask what particular hair configuration was happening for you at it that was, point? It uh, was, again, a combination of awful. We hadn't gotten that far. <laughs> a combination of awful and quiet. And awful. We hadn't that gotten was the other part. Uh, yeah, no, there was, it wasn't good. Uh, I know that a little bit. You know? Uh oh, we have a phone call. Hold on. Right on Bob right and right Tom right show. Hey, man, it's Donnie by. Hey, Donnie. Hang on one second, Donnie. We got a uh, we got a special hey, guest in the studio. Hey, hey, is Brett there? He's uh, here. He's Brett's here. here yeah. you go. Hey, Donnie. That's you with aim poison, just like Journey with that Puerto Rican from Mexico. I'll say it right to Neil. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> Christy, could you make what? it any more obvious? What? We're just talking at work, making fun of you. Why? What are you talking about? Is that Hur Hurricane Earl in your panties? You're just happy to see him today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Donnie. All right, thanks, yeah. Donnie. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much, Hurricane uh, Earl. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Frigamall Records, the same people that brought you the all-bass Christmas album, Amazing Bass, are proud to present Jimmy Pardo's first solo project, Nothing But Air Bass. Hi, I'm Jimmy Pardo. You know, there's nothing cooler in rock and roll than the bass. And these songs are so cool, I don't even need a bass. <laughs> So just pick up your air telephone and dial. Beep, 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 beep. Jimmy Pardo's nothing but air bass. Get yours today. Balmum. The legendary sword of Siegfried. <laughs> <laughs> Bestowed by his widow upon Theodoric the Ostrogoth before the slaughter of the Burgundians. <laughs> and then lost for a thousand years. The class is like, I don't know what he's talking about, but yeah, go find it. Go save the world. We'll be here when you get back. We'll be at the bar, or the speakeasy, or whatever they had back then. You know? be perfect. Class is parting afterwards. Hey, man, what did I tell you every semester? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. It's not on air, it's online. Bob and Tom 24 7. I was playing in uh, in Miami, and RuPaul was real big at the mm -hmm. time, and, and a lot of the staff was gay at the uh, club. And they were going to go at like three in the morning, this huge gay bar to see RuPaul. And I was like, all right, I'll go. And uh, so I go down there. I mean, it's, it's like 2,000 people and mostly gay men. And I'm sitting there by the uh, record machine. Uh, and, uh, and the ugliest guys there hit on me. I mean, ugly pimples, fat guys. I'm like, you well, know what? You're gay well. people drink too. <laughs> You were at two in the morning pool, man. <laughs> man, he looks good. Just the fact that you went, okay, I'll, I'll go. go. Uh, Christy, I don't know if you've seen this, uh, but it says, uh, this is from the science editor, Stefan Anitie. 
Uh, the headline is 10 minutes of staring at boobs daily prolongs man's life by five years. <laughs> I'm gonna All live right. forever. Now, according to this, <laughs> according to this news account, this says uh, ten minutes of staring mm -hmm. at the charms of yeah. a well-endowed female is equivalent to a thirty-minute aerobic workout, according to Dr. Karen Weatherby. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you get one arm working out. Yes. Men aged forty or over should spend at least ten minutes a day admiring breasts size D cup or larger. <laughs> Oh, there's a requirement. This? this is from FARC. I, I have to tell you, I, qualification, there is qualification. I am a little right, skeptical. First of all, the headline should be Bob Gavoyan lives forever. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian Nathan Trenholm in the studio with us. Now, Nathan, where, where are you living now? I'm, uh, I'm living in Los Angeles oh. now. Mm -hmm. And I live with a guy and a girl. And uh, actually, the last time I was in town, I had some cookies. And I offered some of the cookies to my roommates. And the girl just got all mad at me. She's like, Nathan, I'm an actress. Actresses can't have carbohydrates. <laughs> I was like, you know, you mispronounce that word. Uh -huh. It's pronounced waitress. <laughs> You're a waitress. <laughs> This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet. Send us a message why you should win. One, two, three, well, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom of Palooza 2024. Thank you very much. All things Tom, celebrating Tom. And no, no, we're celebrating uh, oh, uh, lots of stuff, including uh, our special guest, Steven Singer, from Steven Singer Jewelers from the I Hate uh, Steven Singer.com website. He's uh, in the news because of a little offer he made to Taylor Swift that we're, we're going to get to in just a second uh, and review that. Also, we've got uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio, as you can hear, along with the brass to mouth horns. I should introduce everybody Duke on the guitar and the vocals, Bill Ritter on the bass. The very handsome Dawson Willette on the drums. The brass to mouth horns, Neil Broker on the sax, Jay Young on the sax, and the flute. I certainly enjoyed that flute on the uh, Stephen Singer singer jingle. So nice. Uh, let's see now, where was I? Oh, PJ Yinger on the trumpet, and uh, Amy and Allie are the Stephen Singer singers. Thank you very much. Now, um, Duke, we certainly enjoyed that. We'll get some more music out of you. I want to remind everybody that uh, Duke is going to be on the road including Kingston Mines in Chicago, February 2nd and 3rd. That's a Friday and Saturday, plus this Friday, the Token Lounge in Westland, Michigan, and Saturday, the Jazz Kitchen. Thank you very much, Duke. Now, a couple quick things. We had the world record for the lady that was in the uh, ice water for three hours. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, I, I found um, the, uh, the famous sauna championships in oh, Finland. Boy. Oh, the the last ones? <laughs> they were uh, permanently canceled in yeah. 2010. Right. When one of the competitors effectively was poached. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. man. They had uh, quite a few problems. That At one point, they had to scrape a woman off of a bench because she <laughs> essentially was <laughs> fried to it. Oh. Uh, she managed to live after being given supplemental what? oxygen what? and being treated for her burns. When did it... Seem to you okay to share that with us? <laughs> well, I, I just, I mean, I'm just wondering if this world record for the coldest water, I would think that would be quite dangerous also. I would think. Anytime I've seen stunts like that, they have, they have them hooked up to some kind of thing where they can measure their uh, heart rate and all that stuff. So okay. I, don't, I don't know if that was the case here. You'd hope so. Yeah, okay. In any event, the, the sauna championships in Finland are over. They're not, mm. not doing them anymore. <laughs> Thank Forever. goodness for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you like saunas, Tom? Uh, no. I, no, you don't get no. in them? You don't, and when, you know I, mean? when I Googled this, I also found out about the case of a couple folks that got into a sauna and the do door handle broke. Oh, God. Oh, and they were final destinationed? Yep. That's not. Oh. See, once again, I they would were, have known that had you not told me that. I'm just, just saying, if you have a sauna, make sure that that... Uh, yeah, the door I don't like the dry works. sauna. I like this. Is it the steam room kind of thing? That one's nice. Well, I was like, did you ever the, see those the ones? The ladle and the rocks? Remember, yeah. Remember, remember in the Three Stooges, they had those uh, <laughs> they, those things that looked like giant uh, yeah. washing machines. <laughs> yes. Just, just your head would stick out. Were those real apparatus? And, yes. and there was always a Three Stooges gag where they'd run by with a broom handle, stick yeah. it in there, <laughs> and then some guy that'd go by later on, he'd be you know, steam no, no, coming no, out no, of his ears. No, the hairs. joke was he'd lose uh, 180 pounds yeah. in there. In like and the cartoons, minutes. for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why well, slight limo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, our guest today right is... Right into um, his hand, don't you, Stephen? Our guest today is Stephen Singer. And, and uh, Stephen Singer, of course, is the uh, the master of Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I'm the love doctor. 
There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. And, and uh, I, I thought, um, I, and I don't know if there's an answer to this question. Are there, are there specific age groups that like specific types of Valentine's Day gifts? And I bring this up because Mr. Godwin is going to sing a song uh, to us in a moment about uh, when the elderly are dating. Yes, they like more expensive, like the Golden Bachelor. You know, the, mm -hmm. the older they are, the more expensive and the more prominent they want the jewelry. The oh. younger, like cuter and cutesy. And I've heard the old saying, there, there's no such thing as too big as far as a ring goes. Well, there's yeah. uh, two things in life that can't be too big, and uh. a diamond is one of them. Uh. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Right. That's for sure. That's okay. absolutely uh, true. That is absolutely so that's true. That's interesting. Well, you know, uh, uh, Pat is in the other room with our uh, with our uh, friends uh, visiting today. Here he comes. Hello, and um, uh, <laughs> uh, Pat is a, a man of a certain age. You know, I wrote this song many years ago, and I'm the perfect age to sing it now. Yeah, oh. It's it's about, uh, uh, Stephen, this is about when folks uh, uh, of a certain age, we usually like to say, mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're living in a nursing home and they start dating. You may have heard about with the with the uh, amount of, what do you call it, uh, you got your Cialis, your Viagra, your Levitra. The ED drugs. The ED drugs. Uh, How do they work, Tom? They, uh, I don't, I've never tried them. I, 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 I've got to sign up for them. Uh, oh, they work. Uh, oh, good. Um, but uh, apparently this is uh, causing uh, a lot of uh, love and heartbreak in the nursing homes. Uh, Pat, you got a tune for this? Yeah, hit it, fellas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you are. Girl, the food was great. The company, even better. Why sit her all night long? Going on about the weather. I know it's our first date. And good girls gotta wait. But I just turned 83. And you said you're 70. Hey! You know what I'm thinking. Let's make love. We're old and we're shrinking the hours late. Let's just do it on our first date. Unhook your girdle and take off that face. Let's crawl into bed. Cut to the chase. It'll be just great. Let's do it on our first date. I took Viagra and I Put your teeth in a jar by the bed. <laughs> Look here, who's poking out and waking from the dead? I want you right now, so don't give me no lip. It's too late for your hymen, but I might break a head. <laughs> the hour is late, let's get to it. On our first date, the hymen is a membrane in the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Young kids here. Uh, okay. The hell with arthritis, arterial thrombosis, acute angina, and your halitosis. It'll be great. Let's do it on our first date. We're too old to worry about moving so fast. So if your wear and depends, I'll just holes off your ass. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. Good girls wait, old broad swing. You can take off your clothes, cause I can't see a thing. The hour is late, let's do it on our first date. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself. I may have Alzheimer's and repeat myself on our first date. You guys are the greatest. Thank you very much. Well, you sound uh, great, Pat. You sure does. Yeah. Uh, a great arrangement by Steve oh. Ali. Some beautiful horns on mm -hmm. that. I just love that tune. Uh, I, I want to mention uh, something else. Uh, our friend Kostaki Economopoulos is going to be on stage tonight in Jackson, Michigan, uh, and then tomorrow in Portage, Michigan, and then uh, Saturday night, Gaylord at the Landing Zone. So uh, fans of the Bob and Tom Show, go see Kostaki in the great state of Michigan. I've got a letter here. Yes. And it's uh, for Mr. Singer involving this offer for Taylor Swift and the Big Diamond. 
there's a technical issue that I have to ask Stephen. When we come back, we're going to get to that. Okay. Uh, the Big Rock. And how many carrots is it again? Uh, seven and a half carrots total weight. Now, are you guys like me? When I first heard about carrots, it was Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yes. Remember? And he's the, because he's, you're a man. <laughs> yes. No woman thinks that. Yeah. So, so hilarious. Uh, and um, uh, carrots in, in the diamond world is spelled how? With a C. C? Yeah. Okay. C Carrot it? for gold is spelled with a K. Oh, this is complicated. Yes. So is it C-A-R-O-T? C-A-R-A-T. Oh, it's carrots, uh, diamond would, carrots. And no idea. It's very easy. 100 uh, points equal a full carrot, just like 100 pennies in a dollar. So, okay, uh, yeah, we'll talk carrots. Um, yeah. and I'm surprised that hasn't been a wordle word, uh, but we'll oh, find it, out about it, that it as well. It will be. Okay, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll-free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Joining us in the studio now, we have uh, Dr. David Wolf, astronaut, and uh, he and Kirsty are making out. They're, they're, they're Welcome not. back to Earth, sir. Uh huh. Oh, hey, there David, is. how are you? Thank you. Dr. Wolf is wearing a NASA golf shirt. Very cool. Of course cool. he is. <laughs> now nah, you can get those at gift shop. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that's no big thing. Dr. Wolf, it's a great pleasure to see you, and glad you're back. The Wolf Man. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. It's <laughs> nice to be back on Earth. So, um, yeah, what'd you do on your summer vacation? Oh, really? You, you out of space, huh? You win. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that is kind of a, you do have that kind of conversation trumper. Uh-huh. Well, we got back from the vineyard. What'd you do, Dr. Wolf? Uh, I was in outer space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Took a few spacewalks. Uh, yeah. Added a piece or two to the International Space Station. You, you added a whole porch, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, that's did. what I thought. Uh -huh. Did some maintenance on the port solar array wing. Needed some new batteries. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, if, if you go to our website... Why do you need a porch in space? Well, well where are you gonna uh, two of the guys... <laughs> where are you going to sit in the rock and the, the, the two next the guys, big bang? Uh, two of the guys the smoke. smoke. <laughs> so, yeah, you got to go outside. <laughs> hey, 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 don't light up in the space station. <laughs> Get out there this on the why, smoking porch. This is why <laughs> Bob's not an astronaut. <laughs> this is why <laughs> David <laughs> comes in here so we can't He's make fun of You can't, oh, you can't uh, smoke uh, in space. No, I was thinking about that this morning. Of course not. Why we're not astronauts. Possibly, theoretically, couldn't they, an astronaut who smokes, couldn't they fill his helmet up with smoke so he could smoke? I, I think it could. There probably is some technology yeah. which would yeah, permit. There you go. Yeah, but it still can't escape from the suit. Now, <laughs> on a serious note, <laughs> and the, your now, clothes would really you guys smell. Are, you guys are NASA launching again probably tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. To, I haven't heard this morning. I, uh, we were on time uh, as of last evening. Still, there, the, well. the concern is that the, that the uh, there's some thunderstorms yeah. may come in and delay the fueling. Mm, summer in Florida, it's tough to get off the pad, as we did. As you know. Yeah, you did. Uh, that was actually my first question. I wanted to know. You, you have to get um, dressed each and every one of those <laughs> times. What How long does it take to get in the, the suit and everything? Ready for it's lunch. a pretty big ordeal. It takes three or four hours, to, you know, from getting up and then out to the pad, and you know, it's uh, two million pounds of cryogenic oxygen and hydrogen. You get up on top of that, uh, the countdown goes, and then it's a few hours to get out. It's a big deal, but it's harder on the cooks and the friends and the family. You know, we go to work whether we go to space or go to Earth, right? But everyone else has traveled and they want to see a launch and. It's a lot of trouble yeah. to turn around. Our guest is Dr. David Wolf, astronaut. If you go to our website on the left side, you'll see uh, a uh, photograph of Dr. Wolf. Did you take this one? Were you holding your hand out? The uh, long arm? Is this, what, is this you with your arm or one of your buddies? Take Better. Care? Nobody up there want to take a picture of you, Dave? <laughs> it, 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 it looks like that's you're... No, that's somebody shooting through the hatch uh, uh, when I'm okay. getting ready to go out on a spacewalk. Uh, okay. I'm in vacuum in there, ready to go out. Okay. And, uh, and if you click... through the window. If you click there, we have a uh, uh, sort of a... Uh, a whole set of photos there, and you can see Dr. Wolf floating around in space. We'll talk about some of these when we come back. Um, I'm curious, how long does it take you to get into the space suit that you're going to use to do a, a walk? The suit, you, you spend the day before checking it out like a spacecraft itself. The next morning, you spend two or three hours getting in before you get out through the hatch. About three hours. Wow. Uh, don't you have a series of mirrors in your uh, passenger car here at home where you can drive laying on your back? Isn't that, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that just to make you feel, comfortable? feel more comfortable upside down? Oh, wow. Down. 
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven baked cheese. It arrives pre baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. or the mess <laughs> and because it's transdermal its powerful chemicals enter your skin at varying intervals throughout the day <laughs> intervals may vary due to body weight ph levels and shipping date <laughs> well, and gentlemen my proposal will save us millions and oh god not now uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Nick and Sonny. Don't thank us. Thank Nookie Derm. Nookie Derm is a transdermal sex patch to be worn when actual sex is not feasible due to economic woes, bad complexion, or that pesky female cycle. That's Nookie Derm. Just lick it and stick it the way nature intended. Nookie Derm from Lovco. Blood Brothers not responsible for excessive dehydration, heart attacks, or ruined trousers. <laughs> Try Nookie Derm today. Let's talk to our guest, Tom Foss. Now, uh, do you have any animals? Uh, I got a, two horses, about 15 chickens, dogs, cats. So you are in the country, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. gravel road, one way gravel road. Really? Do you eat the chickens? No, the eggs. Ah. My the wife eggs. said she'd never kill one of the chickens. Really? But she doesn't have any problems scrambling up the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Uh -huh. well. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Is... And Tom sent you. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hello. In the performance room, there's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. I sure am, and guess what? What? Malibu Pink, now available in Steven Singer Jewelers. 24 karat gold roses, the number one gift for Valentine's Day. It's and did, did you notice that Mr. Singer is here in the studio with us, and he's wearing pink head to toe? Yes, it's a, it's a very dashing color yes. on you. Yeah. Everything except my underwear is pink. Yes, yeah. Well, it's crazy, right? <laughs> Exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. Ace Cosby's here. Uh, I'm Chick McGee, and here's celebrating Tom Apalooza 2024. It's Tom as well. You know, nothing makes me happier than a live horn section. Yeah, we know. I wish I could have a horn section just follow me around. Well, That'd I don't know why that hasn't happened. <laughs> me too. They could play Hail to the Chief every time you walk into the room. Be great. No, they probably have a number for you if you'd, if you'd like that to happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to have, have Duke write me a theme song. That's the sound of the great band Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Remember when Tosh was on uh, one morning? He said he wanted to be rich enough that whatever room he entered, uh, they would release doves yes. as he entered. The room. You could do that with, but, but with horns. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, the horns are uh, Neil Broker on the berry, Jay Young on the sax and the flute, P.J. Yinger on the trumpet. On the bass, by the way, Bill Ritter on the drums, Dawson Willette, and Duke Tomato, that man on the guitar. 
Thank you very much, Duke. As usual, sounding great. Oh, you notice so nice. Bill Ritter's wearing the sunglasses today because, you know, the sun That's... never sets on the cool. Oh, I, thought right. was, I thought it was the reefer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he was blind. <laughs> <laughs> he's not blind? No, he's not, not blind. I got to be honest. I, I know him as blind, Bill Ritter. Yeah, yeah they, exactly. Gotta, uh, Actually, yeah. And I've been giving him the finger all morning and laughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doing that thing. Uh, yeah. I'm not touching you. Yeah. No, he doesn't know. I mean, that's how he plays and he can see. No, tell me it's not so. Actually, the last yeah. the last time the last time Sorry, Bill. Bill Ritter smoked pot, it was he was uh, cleaning it on an album uh, <laughs> that he yeah. just that he had just gotten from Led Zeppelin. Uh, those were the days. Yeah. Uh, now um, we're going to get back to music from the fellows in a couple minutes. I've got a couple technical questions. As it happens, we do happen to have Steven Singer in the studio with us uh, from IHateStevenSinger dot com uh, because uh, Mr. Singer is um, not just a, a professional uh, jeweler; he is is a newsmaker made the news um, uh, last week when you um, made a, uh, I guess, a proposal, if you will, to uh, Taylor Swift and her uh, her boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Kelsey, the, that uh, you suggested the possibility of a ring that you have designed and actually possess that is worth one million dollars. Correct. Got a letter. Okay. Now, first of all, um, uh, I'm not uh, all that conversant with the language of jewelry. Yeah, we've noticed. Although in my day, I. In my day. You purchased Probably some. Probably purchased some. Mm -hmm. uh, the point being, um, you mentioned the side diamonds on the diamond engagement ring. Is yes. Right? This particular one we designed has a one main stone and two side stones that match it. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, for me, a side stone would be like Mick Taylor. Right. Uh, the Rolling Stones. That is silly. <laughs> Chuck LaBelle. <laughs> uh, uh, but um, got this letter, Stephen. Uh, <clears throat> it says, uh, <laughs> Mr. Singer may want to upgrade those side diamonds because apparently the ring should cost three months' salary. Travis makes $14.3 million a year just from the NFL. That doesn't include all his side endorsements. Ooh. So now, is what is that whole thing about the so many months? What is that? Where did it come from? You want from? the truth or the um, no? The I want. Story? I want a big lie. Well, <laughs> well, give me the, the truth. Is, give me the myth and then I, the truth. The beers who can, used to control 80% of the world's rough diamonds. Um, uh, made up an advertising slogan that you should spend two months' salary should be that that which should be your guide. So whatever two months' salary is, that's made what that you spent. It was just made up. It's it's like advertising agents in the fifties and sixties said breakfast most important meal of the day. It's complete nonsense. It's just huh. an advertising myth ah. that they made up and based on people that used to work on a farm two and salary. things like that. So the two months' salary Breakfast is important just... and the female orgasm. All hey, myths. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> well, whoa. not all of those, but oh, oh. Uh, just some of them. Oh. But, um, <laughs> yes, So it, but it's a, it's a fine guide, and if you use that, then Taylor Swift would have to spend like 10 times this. I mean, it's, uh, I think she, she made over a billion, billion dollars yeah. or something like that. Well, she doesn't buy her own engagement. Yeah, so, so it's, you it's have the to be... guy's salary. Right, right. the guy's right. Well, salary. even his salary would be, right. you know, we, we'd, have to, we'd have to go up to this is uh, downsizing for her. But, uh, yeah, that's true. But she doesn't that's like true. gaudy. That'd be gaudy. Yeah, yeah there, there's, right. there comes a point where enough is enough. And, right. and it's, and it's, yeah. it's really the thought that counts, right? right? Sure. Now, yeah. um, this is right up there with the Bell's ring and J Lo's ring. Apparently, and it's, all that it's not the thought that counts. Well, what well, is it? Because, Krista, you were saying that w most women would be upset if they were given a, an, an engagement ring that what the man acquired for free. Well, so you it's not the thought. You it's gotta the have money. Some, you got to have some. Women want it to hurt game. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, they want to know that you went through a little bit of. Yeah. They want it to hurt just a little bit. Yes. Now we got the truth coming out yes. of here. We, we yes. have to know we're worth it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If your if your <laughs> girlfriend, fiance to be, wants you to spend, let's say, five grand just to pick a number, she wants you to spend like sixty five hundred. Just go a little uh, over, you know. <laughs> just, just prove it. You know, jump through this hoop a little uh, bit. Yes. You know, it, that's just the way it is. Okay. Uh, Steven Singer is the guy that uh, is has been making international news with his offer. We'll see what happens. If, and you've, you've mentioned that if they want to buy it from me, you'll donate the money to their favorite charity. If they want to pay for it, we'll do it, donate it to any charity they want. Is that two-month thing net or gross? Uh, <laughs> I think it's gross. In uh, Tom's case, it's gross. Okay. But it's, uh, all everybody, no. It's, all, right. all this talk of weddings is gross. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Josh. Josh. 
Josh, Josh. Wait a yeah. I may have some crippling commitment issues. Josh. That's no, that's no big deal. <laughs> now, let's, if we go Josh, on. do you know how much better looking you'll get with jewelry? You know, when you give jewelry, you know, you go up. To, you're, you're, you you look like Brad Pitt with jewelry. Oh, is that what I see? That's, absolutely. You give the and the nicer the jewelry is, the better looking you get. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's how I met my wife. It's oh, like, she, she thinks I'm she thinks I'm like George Clooney. I gave her jewelry. You know? She must have no a great idea. jewelry box. She, oh wow. man, that's why I can't divorce her. We're together for 42 years. I can't get rid of her because she's I got too much invested in her. Yeah, what's the most? Uh, what's the what's the biggest selling uh, jewelry item at Valentine's Day? Not just for you, but in the world of all jewelry. Well, obviously, just jewelry in general. Any type of heart, diamond heart. Um, we saw a lot of heart, di heart, diamond hearts with blue diamonds are very, very popular this year, colored diamonds. Um, but anything with a heart or especially a diamond heart is number one for Valentine's I have Day. a daughter named Heart. I never even thought of that. Yeah, now you have to get her a lot of hearts. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, to go with that pony, you got to buy her. Right. Your daughter Heart, actually, I asked her for, for her autograph one day, and she literally, did, she just drew a heart. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's she, spe so cute. She, she spells it H A R T like my grandfather. Oh yeah, right. Like but, a deer. Yeah, she's a, she's a sweetie along, and it's uh, this weekend. It's just me and Hart the whole weekend by ourselves. Are you gonna nice. buy her a diamond? That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know, it was gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, could you go ask Andy if he could get a bottle of Shut Up? <laughs> <laughs> then you could drink it. Like and, Andy's, uh, here. Uh, Andy's been asking us for one. Uh, okay. Oh, oh hey. He, he doesn't care. In three days ago, give me and a break. And he's he's regretting it. <laughs> <laughs> we should we just should point out to Stephen. Uh, Christy got married. Married on May 23rd, and your husband moved in Sunday. I know he moved out of his apartment yeah. and the garage thing into her place, yeah. and they're getting rid of stuff. I heard yeah, the whole. We're... This is it. This is for real. Yeah, now it. she's getting for her one year anniversary. We just talked about this in the other room. We're getting her a piece of vintage jewelry. Andy yeah. doesn't know the joke. To match, to match her ring. Oh. Um, and that's going to be her not surprise one year anniversary gift for letting him move in. Oh, okay. nice. <laughs> so now back to Valentine's Day. Back to Valentine's Day. So I'm um, trying to help everybody out there. So the, uh, our. Um... I can tell you what our number one gift this year is. Okay. We made up this bracelet. This that bracelet the beautiful Christy is Lee has. It is a handmade, one of a kind, exclusively ours. You can't get it from anywhere else. It's called At Last. And it looks like, I asked Christy, like, what do you think? And it looks like it'd be, you know, $1,500, $2,000. Yeah, I thought it was It's baguette great. and round diamonds with a hidden clasp and all individually hinged. Absolutely gorgeous. 248 bucks. Wow. wow. And, and, and bracelets are super popular for... Oh, I love this bracelets. This is... My every favorite. year, there's different trends. Like, some years, you know, it's like a widescreen TV year or, you know, like, different things computers sell. This year, for whatever reason, in jewelry, bracelets are hot. We are selling bracelets them. like they're going out of style. And this is just been... This at last bracelet has been... And you were kind enough, uh, kind enough to gift me one of those. And I was just wondering, how much does something like that go for uh, on eBay? Uh, uh, on eBay? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's... Uh, 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 don't know. I we don't, don't know. know. I don't know yet. I'll tell you so next week. It really yes. is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Now, yeah. um, we're going to get some uh, music in just a few minutes out of Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Plus, we have a, a special feature coming up, a special Thursday edition of News We Failed to Mention. Oh. And then tomorrow, we're going to do the shoe-in of the week. Now, you have posted your NFL picks? The Chick McGee on Instagram. Yeah, the uh, the NFC AFC Divisional uh, Championship games are up there. See what you think. I'm okay. taking this week. It's the weekend for taking the points. I'm taking the points. And on the season against the spread, you are? I am 93 and 79 against the spread. Okay. It's free money here, people. If you want it, you come pick it up. It's, it's like Chick ATM McGee. Dang, mm. dang on. And tipping is uh, expected. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's good to know. Well, let's. Uh, I want to get Duke up there to do a little singing about our friends at uh, Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese because mm. all the winners mm. of our competition for the beautiful Big Green Egg Mini Max this year are, are, are getting that beautiful oven-baked bundle of Gardner's yeah. Wisconsin Cheese. Duke? <laughs> Scared me just want to, see to the death. Just want to know if the mic's working for it. It's oh, it's yeah. On. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Twice. You got some cheese music for me, Duke? One, two, three, four! Gardner's Cheese! Yeah. <laughs> Gardner's Cheese! Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Gardner's Wisconsin <laughs> Cheese and Sausage. and Cheese. I knew something else was coming. Artisan meats, quality cheese, and the freshest curds you've ever tasted. 
Their famous squeaky curds are made fresh in the morning, most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese also. They have that amazing oven-baked cheese that Tom talked about. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it. Grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. That's right. Let's spice things up with some ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. Great for game day. And jalapeno is now available in their oven-baked bundle package. So try all the flavors at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Speaking of packages... <clears throat> Gardner's has a variety of package deals already created for you, like the Be My Valentine package. This crowd-pleasing package is great for get-togethers. It's keto-friendly and includes some of their best sellers, like a big block of buffalo wing cheese, eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, which is my personal favorite, bacon oven-baked cheese, and juicy packs of those teriyaki meat sticks, and so much more. That's the Be My Valentine package. It's sure to make you feel good. Oh. Thank you. Aged Gouda also does come in that package. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese.com. I got it. What's that, sir? Here's what you do. All right. You get a uh, hunk o' cheese. Yes. Then you get two diamond earrings from Steven Singer at IHateStevenSinger.com. Uh huh. You s shove the earrings into the cheese. <laughs> And then you preserve uh, Leave it alone. Uh, Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Tastes better with diamonds. Dot com. You're really going to enjoy them. Check them out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Gardner's Cheese, damn it. <laughs> Gardner's Cheese. <laughs> Josh, do some scat, man. Do some scat. Grupacha. <laughs> oh, you want me to continue? Zipper D. Boodle the flirts and barzel. Whoop, whoop. Rebel, desirable, gibble, cheese, rock, dip, zerp, pop, flibberly day. Cheese. Cheese. Wrap her up right here. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Uh, Gardner's cheese. Oh, I'm so close. They simply don't know when to stop. No, they don't. It's like me with a big butt. Package of Gardner's cheese. I don't know when to stop. <laughs> End it now. <laughs> they only listen to you, Tom. I have no clout here. All right, Duke, let's uh, cap this baby. <laughs> oh. And on the one. Okay. Uh, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. And uh, we're going to come right back. We've got a couple interesting things in the news. A lot of uh, doggy news mm -hmm. and some incredibly weird news. And um, a cicada update. If you've never experienced the cicadas, um, there's a couple things. One is the noise level. And the secondly, uh, you got to make sure your dogs don't eat them. And it's going to be an, a, a massive invasion of cicadas, the biggest in a couple hundred years. We've got the details next. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Rodney Carrington, and you are listening to... This right in the live well, show. <laughs> Hi, uh, Tom here. God knows I'm not perfect. I guess I can be difficult and sometimes perhaps a little demanding. I'm no. oh, sure some might say tyrannical, but I don't get it. I try to be a nice guy, but lately it seems that everybody's pissed at me. <laughs> My friends are pissed, my doctor's pissed, my mother's pissed, my lawyer's pissed, my waiter's pissed, and chick is pissed. Everybody's pissed at me, my banker's pissed, the band is pissed, my plumber's pissed, the fisher pissed, my barber's pissed, my brother's pissed. It is very plain to see. Everybody's pissed at me. I think we can all agree. Everybody's pissed at me. <laughs> Tom, you are an evil bastard. We're all pissed at you today. I am sick of all your bitching. Here's a check. Go away. Yeah. Your boss is pissed. Your kids are pissed. Your neighbors pissed. Your sisters pissed. Will bet even God is pissed. Everybody's pissed at me when I wrote.
wrote my pissed off list, I'm sure there's someone that I missed, and that will probably make them pissed. It is very plain to see. Everybody's pissed at me. I think we can all agree. Everybody's pissed at me. Very justifiably. Everybody's pissed at me. <laughs> Aging Michael Hunt. All right. Really. Aging Michael Hunt. Is Mike Hunt here? All right. You ready for this? We are ready. People were taking the chicken from Chick fil A and putting it on Cheddar Bay biscuits. Josh is leaving right now. Josh is leaving. Okay, let's go. Greatest day of my life. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? <laughs> T-Rex doesn't want to be fed, T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... Go, I like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Daddy does too. The guys who sit behind us do. That's why, That's why you're here. <laughs> yeah, Joey love. from Philly. <laughs> he likes in the car. <laughs> and Rachel, Sue, where's your old, uh, where's your old lady? <laughs> Oh, with us in the studio, comedian Chad Daniels. Your wife is a college professor. Yes. Or are you a college man? No. Ah. Oh. That's that makes for interesting yeah, contrast. Uh huh. And her friends uh, always remind me of it. Oh really? Oh really? Are they all college professors as well? Most of them. Mm -hmm. We were out getting dinner one night, and her friends were like, "So, Chad, have you ever had Indian food?" And I was like, "Hello, Thanksgiving." <laughs> Aren't you a history so professor? Yeah. Didn't you know that? She has one friend from England that's always bragging about their language. We invented your language. You wouldn't even have a language if it wasn't for us. Well, you spelled pneumonia with a P, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Nat starts with a G, and you're bragging about that. And she goes, "You know what? They're silent. You know what? You better be silent before I stab you in your face with a." A knife. <laughs> a thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces drawn by Edvard Munch. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of Loads of curvy cleavage on display The thrill of victory <laughs> And the agony of defeat I Don't touch those Sorry The human drama of Loads of curvy cleavage on display This is the Bob and Tom Show. No shoes. Not it. Not it. <laughs> That's why we're playing tag here. Not it. It's the Bob and Tom Show. It's time. It's time to tighten up. Here's uh, Tom Griswold. Take it, Tom. One of my favorite uh, songs of all time, of course, Archie Bell and the Drells and the great song, Tighten Up. Has Drell ever been uh, defined as what it is? Yeah, there, are, than, there, there are a number of bands that rhyming with Archie kind of, Bell. They make up... The phonics, of course, that, that sound, though, right? I don't know. There might, a drill probably is something. 
Uh, it sounds like a tool you might use. A Dremel. That's close. A drill. A drill? You're thinking of a drill. Yeah, uh, you'd use that in New Orleans. Where's my drill? Uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Wait a minute. They're going to get They're going to get Here's the cool part. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Are they going to make a mellow? Oh, shut, shut your mouth. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Oh, yeah. yeah, see? Make it mellow? That's Duke Tomato with the Power Tree of the Brass to Mouth Horns. If you're watching on uh, the YouTube, you can see uh, Bill Ritter with uh, on, on the bass with those shades yeah, on. Yeah, baby. Really good look. You know, uh, he's not blind. He looks like he's blind. If we were blind, he'd be like a uh, hey, blind Billy Ritter. <laughs> Today you'd be visually impaired Billy Ritter, <laughs> just to be politically correct. Yes. This old Billy can't see. <laughs> <laughs> a Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. They're going to be playing a song for us in a few minutes. We've got a little surprise for you. Duke, thank you very much. Certainly enjoyed it. Uh, a little tribute to Archie Bell and the Drills. Hmm. Uh, but uh, right now, I believe we're going to be uh, having someone else take the stage in the other room. We've got a special uh, special treat for you. Oh, This is a regular feature typically done on a, a Friday to wrap up the week. But we thought with Steven Singer here from IHateStevenSinger.com, the captain of Valentine's Day. Is that what we decided? He's the, the love doctor. The love doctor of Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. He's here with us. And we have Mr. Jeff Oske with, um, uh, with uh, news we failed to mention. Jeffrey. Oh, uh, hey, everybody. Hey, how's it going out there? Jeff. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we give you a lot of the news each week, but we don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news that we failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Oskay with what you failed to mention news. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Hi, sir. What the Great hell was switch that? it, Noah. Uh, and boo boo. No, okay. Uh, this is going well already. I'm feeling great. Uh, we give you a lot of the news each week. Let's try this again. We don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news that we <laughs> failed to mention. Pew boo boo. Oh, That's there awesome. they are. Oh, 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 that was that go. was incredibly okay. hot. There we go. Right. Yeah. Those those all ladies right. are really hot. Uh, India has trained drug sniffing squirrels to assist them in customs. Well, you failed to mention the squirrels have already seized 52 kilos of airline peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not doing their job. Yeah. Well, uh, a man was caught with uranium at UK's Heathrow Airport. What you failed to mention, the man was caught after setting off the airport's heavy metals detector. <laughs> <laughs> heavy, uh, heavy metals. Uranium <laughs> joke, you see. Yes. Mm, maybe atomic energy. A 90-year-old grandmother just graduated from college with a bachelor's degree in liberal arts. Huh. Uh, what you failed to mention, you should congratulate her the next time she's taking your order at Starbucks. <laughs> 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 Thanks, PJ. Uh, the Jamaican government, I don't know if you guys saw this, the Jamaican government government has launched a new weed is great campaign uh, to help bring in tourists uh what you failed to mention they're hoping if you get high enough you won't notice all the poverty to and from your drive to the resort the live crowd not enjoying this <laughs> <I'll be honest. laughs> <laughs> They're uh, starting to organize. Lots of, lots of blank faces. <laughs> They're getting organized. Uh, our buddy Steven Singer in the news offered Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey a free uh, engagement ring worth a million dollars if the two decide to wed. Well, you failed to mention, uh, nice try, Mr. Singer, uh, trying to get the free concert tickets. Uh, nice try. Good luck. I already offered them two free tickets to my next show at a furniture store in a small Midwestern town. <laughs> So I got those tickets wrapped up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a nun, a nun was seen tackling an environmental protester outside the construction of a new religious center. What you failed to mention, the nun was none other than Sister Mary Too Tall Joan. <laughs> Too Tall Joan. <laughs> I like Too Tall Joan. <laughs> yes, yes. No. <laughs> we got them all. <laughs> a man was arrested after offering the kitchen staff of a restaurant marijuana in trade for uh, some free fried pickles <laughs> in a, a non-weed legal state. 
What you failed to mention, uh, you unlucky son of a B, uh, you picked the one restaurant. The one. <laughs> Where they wouldn't make the... Yeah, that the kitchen staff doesn't smoke pot. Like, uh, yeah. uh, uh, we, we learned that uh, pure oxygen is just as effective as Viagra. What you failed to mention, yeah, but it can't be easy keeping the oxygen mask from falling off your penis. <laughs> Grants from the crowd. Hey! <laughs> and finally, one last. Pew, pew, pew. I love it. Yes. A crack pipe was found in a woman's vagina during a search while being booked into jail. What you failed to mention, the woman claims the crack pipe isn't hers. She's just holding it for her friend's vagina. <laughs> I'm Jeff Oscar, and this has been the news that we failed to mention. Thank you very much. Oh, that was nice. And uh, on the poo 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 is the Stephen Singer Singers. Yes. Wasn't that nice? Amy um, and Allie. Yeah, and we, we have a guest Stephen Singer Singer today. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. Annie couldn't be here, so we have Allie. Uh, nice to see you, Allie. Nice uh, to be here. Yeah, and Allie, you're dressed like um, you're on the Ricola thing. <laughs> here with, uh, uh, once again, the funniest thing we do, Tom talking to women. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No, doesn't she look like she's come out of Swiss yeah, Miss? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going, Tom. Atta boy. What else does it look like she's dressed like? <laughs> no, I mean, I meant that in the nicest way. You know, like, well, yeah, that doesn't happen. Amy and Ellie, have you sung together before? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, well that was um, a boring question. Sorry for the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, how could that have gone better? Uh, what if they said no? Um, <laughs> you know what? I had no. Um, this could yeah. be it was more boring awkward. no matter how it went. This could be more. Are you in a new band that does Taylor Swift songs? Yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Amy's doing a whole cover band full of Taylor Swift songs. All Taylor Swift. Well, well you, guys guys better, you guys better check with Tom before you do a cover song, because sometimes <laughs> he doesn't like the way you... <laughs> now, is, what is the, the, is the band, does it have a name based on one of Taylor's songs? Yes, the Bejeweled Band. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's one of her tunes. I should know this. I thought it was called Fake It Off. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that good. Oh, that'd be very nice. We very should nice. have asked you when we were thinking of names. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice recovery. Yes. Uh, now, uh, I believe we have uh, Duke Tomato ready to sing another song for us. Duke, looking forward to it. What have you got? We're going to have the, the lady sing with us. We're going to do Tie You Up just because I like the sound of that voice, you know. Going on in the back. I want to die. Uh, <laughs> right. It's always it's always upsetting to me when guys yell out to me, "Hey, Duke, tie me up." Yeah, I yeah. can understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Tie me up, tie me I could never resist. 
face. It don't hurt. She gets pissed. I'm gonna tie you up. I'm need some help now. All right. I'm gonna tie you up. None of those AI verses either, Tom. I'm gonna tie you up. Scat verse would be fun. I'm gonna tie you up. Well, I'm not looking for a girl either who <laughs> likes to shop. I'm looking for a couple girls who can't find their tops. I'm on a tie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm on a tie. Beautifully done. I'm on a tie. Maybe Freaky. I hit them. I'm on a tie. You can just get one for us. Yeah! Herbie Gars and her flasting bidet. I'm not sure what happened at the end there, but someone just got their butt. Lost context. I'm gonna tie you up. I'm gonna tie you up. Let's rock a while. you can. Trio featuring the brass to mouth horns and the Steven Singer Singers. Well done, Singer. Nice job, yes. girls. It was very nice, very nice. You can uh, watch the show later on uh, on the Bob and Tom YouTube channel, et cetera, et cetera, and see who who does what and what they look like. Mm -hmm. And you'll find out that when I said Mr. Steven Singer was wearing uh, nothing but Malibu pink today, I was lying. Uh, but uh, Shh, okay, just it's just kind of a you know it, 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 it's the magic theater of the mind. Yeah, that, thank you, theater mm -hmm. of the mind. That's what the phrase I was looking for. Right. Uh, uh, Christy Lee, uh, what have you got coming up over there? Well, we have a guy who made himself into a dog, hmm. and he wishes his friends wouldn't judge him anymore. Well, yeah, I know, right? Wait till you see this guy. <laughs> it's uh, is he furry? He, um, uh, well, you'll see. It, All right. it, it, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, it, it's, it, he spent tens of thousands of dollars doing it. We also have a, a the cicadas pan. are coming. The cicadas are coming. Yeah, yeah. I ain't worried. Oh, you, oh, you when you, you are no shoveling idea. them off think, your driveway, you will be. I think it's cool. I've always liked it when it's happened. Huh. Really? It's interesting, yeah. You can't even sit outside. Yeah, you can. <sighs> you just got to... It's like a hundred decibels. Wear earmuffs. You'll know what it's like to have tinnitus. Yeah. Tennis racket? <laughs> uh, it's so... Yeah, it's exactly. So I've never seen them before. I've been around. <laughs> well, 
Uh, now, uh, right now. Oh, you think you've been around, huh? Oh, I've been around. <laughs> um, uh, I know a thing. Do we still have Duke uh, um, uh, hooked up here? No, he left. Uh, okay, because oh, I, I was hoping. What? Was, well, uh, Duke, what? Can, I, can I get a little sleep number music, please? Okay. Well, it's a very complicated tune. We got. Let me organize here. Okay, right. you get organized. Uh, well, I can tell you right now One, that. One, uh, two, three, four. Uh, sleep <laughs> number. There you go. Sleep number. The sleep number smart bed is what we're talking about here. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Sleep number. The sleep number smart bed, quality sleep essential for boosting your energy level and for uh, your well-being. Let's face it, you got to get a good night's sleep, and the best way to do that is with a bed that's a smart bed. The sleep number smart bed actually is designed for you, for your one-of-a-kind person that is just you because you can adjust the firmness level at the touch of a button. This is like having 40 beds in one, and of course, either side of the bed has its own level. So if over on that side, they want a firm mattress, and on this side, you don't, well, that's easy to do. Christy Lee, what is your sleep number setting on that smart bed? 35. Aha, that's a soft mattress. Mr. Yep. McGee? 100. I like the firm mattress. And as you can see, that's uh, those uh, that's a differ, uh, differing opinions over there. That's where the sleep number smart bed comes in. You'll be really smart if you check out the JD Power rankings because JD Power independently has ranked sleep number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. Want to check it out yourself? You don't have to believe me. Go to jdpower.com slash awards to get those 2023 award listings and you'll see the sleep number smart bed is right up there on top by the way right now you can save 40 percent on the sleep number special edition smart bed for a limited time so you can show sleep number how smart you are by taking advantage of this offer with some very special savings and some special financing things happening right now details are available of course at the sleep number store and only at the sleep number store which you'll find of course by going to sleepnumber.com slash bt show Thank you very much, Duke. Thank you very much, Sleep Number. We're coming right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Uh, what about the Blow Jovian guy? Was, was this the, I think it was one of the Blow Jovians. Was this the Mad Armenians? Was this <laughs> Might have been Bluto Blow Jovian. And, and, and the Mad Armenians. Do we have everybody out there? I can't see. Um, do we need Chick? Okay. Do we need Chick? Do we, need we do need yes, Chick. We do for oh, this we next tune. Okay. We're going to need the oh. Chickster. Oh. Yeah, there's a little vocalizing from uh, everyone on this one. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this yes. one, yeah. Okay. That song. Yeah. Okay. Well, we all got to get out there. No, no we not can, everybody. We can sing from in here. And ready? And ready? We're ready. Okay. You're fit out. Wait a minute. This is called. Hey, Chick McGee, everybody! Yeah. Oh, the classics. You screwed up I screwed up the damn My withheld God. name and address. Nice, nice job, Chick. Nice job. <clears throat> That's it. And I even rehearsed yesterday. I did rehearse. You, you did? That's with rehearsal. <laughs> Thank God you rehearsed. Think how horrible it would have been. It was and nice. I you not. Get the... You oh, did a great God. job. So wait, let's nice. do it again. One, no, two, two, three. three no. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Schubert is our guest. Any uh, other interesting news headlines, Christy? The FBI has identified the source of the virus-like blaster infection on the Internet. The suspect, an 18-year-old who has not been identified but is expected to be arrested today. Now, can we execute 18-year-olds in our society? Yes, we can. Okay, okay, I'm there. I'm voting for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you can tell the kid's not getting laid. Any kid that's getting laid on a regular basis is not creating computer viruses. <laughs> so, true. So it's basically, that's a sex education in high school. They, you know, all they talk about are diseases and things you can catch.
and the, the girls stop putting out and kids the hole up in the room and create a virus. Mm -hmm. He's going to be receiving a different kind of sex education, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe yeah his right. baseball hat and his uh, dirt yeah. button are going to be the same <laughs> size once they get done with him. This kid's going to be able to do deep knee bends over a fire hydrant. <laughs> the man in the studio with us is comedian Greg Hahn. You ever driven in a uh, Corvette? What do you I mean, doing? I'm a little bit tall for the vet. Are, are you, you really? That's a right. big car. Yeah. Put yeah. the seat back. That's an idea. <laughs> yeah. How tall are you? I'm six four. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I got a big, I got a gigantic, I got a huge SUV. Oh, I just really? look at the rear view, thinking I got to get some friends. <laughs> rows and rows of seats, nobody in them. I just go from gas station to gas station. Hey, want a ride? Yeah. Tell them about your three point plan for success, Greg. What is that? Where I, what? I bought the car is too expensive. Right. My house is too expensive. Right. Knock up a fat girl. I'm out of it. Yes, sir. Mr. Success. Yeah. That's Greg Hahn. <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my face. <laughs> In a few minutes. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show on Tom of Palooza 2024. That's nice, isn't it? Iran, the weird ass show. Here's Tom. Wouldn't you like to have a horn section following you around? No, it's loud. Uh, I would not. <laughs> Well, it is loud, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, to each his like own. quiet. Like you walk into a restaurant and... Uh, you want everybody to look at you? You get that royal fanfare? Oh. I don't see me sitting back going, ah, with a horn section behind me. I don't... Uh, no. no. Okay. It's a little too loud. I certainly enjoy them. Uh, that horn section is the brass to mouth horns. And um, they are playing with uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio right now. Live as it happens, this is uh, real radio in the studio. Our in-studio guest guy who made the international newswire last week with his offer to taylor swift and mr kelsey it's uh steven singer the i hate steven singer guy and we'll be talking to steven in a matter of moments we'll hear some more music from duke coming up shortly also we've got mr pat godwin who um is going to be at uh, pat coslett's in evansville saturday february 10th i understand pat has a little something special for us oh but right now we say uh duke take a short break because we're going to talk to christy lee Yes, we are. A man who paid more than $15,000 to transform himself into a dog has opened up about being sad about the misconception around him becoming a dog. Hmm. The man from Japan calls himself Toko. He says he has spent a staggering 2 million yen or about $15,000 on a full-size human collie costume yep. so he could look like his favorite breed of canine and fulfill his lifelong ambition of... Becoming a dog. Really? However, Toko has shared the reality behind that journey, admitting that he gets upset when trolls judge him. He says he feared coming out in real life because of the reaction he gets and said, quote, I rarely tell my friends because I'm afraid they will think I'm weird. No, we've just posted a photograph of uh, that. That is uh, something. It's very realistic. It looks like a stuffed collie. Sure. Here's yeah. a video of him rolling around and doing tree. When doing... he's like moving and stuff, it looks, yeah. at first glance, you'd go, oh, there's a dog. Is this guy a midget or something? How's he get into that costume? <laughs> Hang on a second, dude. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> you know what? Steven said, he brings up a good point. What the hell is going on here? Huh? Yeah, I, I think he's a smaller man, but I don't, <laughs> I don't I mean, think he's, he's not a puppy. I, mean, tall, I think uh, the, weird, the weird part is that he takes it so, himself so seriously. Uh, just to, to, to do the right thing, he got himself neutered. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you see this video... I I mean, he's scratching at the door. Is to he come humping in. anything? He's got to be humping, right? That uh, would have to be the the yeah, number one. He's not humping. Well, yeah, later on in the video, his master comes up and whacks him in the face with a newspaper because he pooped <laughs> in the living room. Well, your bucket list, though, if you're going to be a dog, and let's say that's bucket list item number one. Right. Number two, it would have to be humping, humping something, right? Yeah. You and uh, you know he's crapping in the yard. He's oh, made, he's, he's, uh, what is he trying to get in? Is he yeah, trying he's to... trying to get in. There he's drinking. Oh, he's drinking a soda. Oh, yeah, 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 he's got a soda, sir. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a cherry Coke there, it looks like. What's, what's going on He doesn't there? get to have that. No. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, okay. Well, Are there any pictures of the guy when, when he doesn't? No, have he a... says he won't show his face so, because he doesn't want people at his workplace to know that he does this at home. So okay. is that a, a suit he had made, or is, yes. it, a, is it a carcass? Yeah, Fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, we had it made. What? Fifteen thousand dollars. It's not a carcass. From Rick no. Baker, actually. <laughs> The, no. great, the Oscar winner Rick Baker made it. I there. remember, the, yeah, the, the werewolf movie with uh, David Naughton when, they, mm -hmm. when he oh, turned man. into. I lost my mind. I lost yeah, my oh, mind. Sure. This guy's actually turning into a dog. He actually goes on walks with his. 
<laughs> they'll, they'll put a leash on him and he'll go for a walk. All and, right. Well, I don't want to hear about him until he's you know put what? down. That's exactly what yeah. the other dogs are saying. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what the hell is does, this? Does he lift his leg when he is out uh, on a walk? I don't what's, know. It doesn't what's, what's show What's going that. on there? Hey, why do the boy dogs do the the f f f f with their back feet when they get done using the bathroom and the girl dogs it don't did, do it that? It depends dog to dog. It I have varies. never had a dog that did the f f f f f with their back feet. Does Try Buddy do it? that with his back feet? No, he does it at night in the bed. He goes like crazy, like the three <laughs> stooges, like he's doing yeah. like the curly <laughs> shuffle. Yeah. Uh -huh. He goes like crazy. And then I read online it's that if dogs do that before they go to sleep, they they like are getting the, the oh, their, their space ready. Okay. And he goes bananas. You look, he's doing the curly shuffle every night, but oh, not when he goes to the bed. That's mm. beautiful. Oh. This guy, uh, I'm guessing, is a bachelor. I don't know. I would. <laughs> it doesn't go into that, okay. but I would. Well, assume. if you're going to be judged, sir, you just got to not. You got to not worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just shake it off, like when you're wet. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, do you ever wonder what your dog likes to watch on television? I'm, no, no, never. I'm certain <laughs> they like exactly what I like. <laughs> okay. Well, according to a study published recently in the journal Applied Animal Behavior Science. Dogs are most engaged when watching videos that feature... Other dogs? Other animals, exactly. Oh, okay. Isn't there a scene in the fabulous movie Scrooge where Robert Mitchum plays the TV executive? Yeah. And he tells Bill Murray, you know what we need to do? We've got the numbers back. There's an amazing number of cats watching <laughs> television. Yes. yes. What we need is a private detective with a ball of string <laughs> that he holds. Maybe that's his gimmick, he says. <laughs> that's yes. his gimmick. Yeah. So he holds it in front of the TV. So he, he insists so that they put mice in the Christmas carol. <laughs> so, so cats will watch. And then it cuts to a, a shot of a mouse in the Christmas carol. Yeah. And the cat's going crazy. He's like, see? See? It proves his point. <laughs> there you go. Home run. This study is part of an overall effort to develop better ways to check canine vision, which we talked about yesterday, I believe, which researchers say is sorely lacking in veterinary medicine. My dogs go ballistic when other animals come on the television. Really? They'll jump at the TV. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Yes. Wow. Mine do not care. But then I have another dog, the boy dog, likes to watch football. He'll... Follow the game. And my, uh, my cat wa likes to watch hockey. Yeah. She just loves how the puck goes yeah, around. I think they and she, like the her head moves. Well, now, yeah. if you have a girl pet, they're going to like to watch the cheerleaders and whatever whatever really? sport you're watching, uh. not the actual sport. That's uh, right. Yeah. 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 They, they, they look for what they are. <laughs> <laughs> my they boy can dog, identify uh, with the cheerleaders. Uh, my boy dogs, right now, I've, I've got the two girl dogs and the boy dog. My boy dog likes to watch soap operas. Really? Oh, yeah, huh? Because of all the bitches. Uh, <laughs> you put some stank on that. All the bitches. So uh, you know, you know. Oh, did she do that? Oh, that. <laughs> uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to get another song out of Pat Godwin. And uh, some more music coming up from Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Um, I did find out one interesting thing about St. Valentine. Yes. Oh, yeah? Did you know this? What? St. Valentine is the patron saint of beekeepers. Oh, really? <laughs> Isn't Jason Statham have a beekeeper movie out? He does. Yeah, he does. Isn't that yeah. weird? I mean, it's, yeah, who knew? It's not about love either. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Maybe so it's because of the honey. Could oh, be. Oh, that's way Maybe that's where, the, that, where, that, where that came from. We'll find out. Honey, We've got more Valentine's Day info on the way as well. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. Ah!
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. the track. You're hot and thirsty. If you don't get some relief quick, just like those Indy cars, your body's gonna overheat. That's why you need the cool, refreshing blast of body fuel. It's like an overhaul for your body in a 12-ounce can. Just one drink and you'll be refueled and ready for anything your busy lifestyle demands. Excuse me, sir. You look hot and thirsty. <laughs> Boy, I sure am. I got my two kids with me and I forgot the cooler in the car. God, it's got to be 100 degrees out here. I could sure go for a cold drink of water. Water? You don't <laughs> want water. You want something that'll replenish all the fluids you've lost. You need the overhaul for your body in a 12-ounce can. You need body fuel. <laughs> Body fuel? I never heard of it. That's because it's new! <laughs> Jesus! This tastes like motor oil! Well, there is some motor oil in there. And some transmission fluid, gasoline, and even a little engine coolant. Engine coolant? <laughs> hey, I can't see! Well, of course you can't see. That's the power of body fuel your system, making it just like brand new. What do you think of body fuel? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> hey, what's that fizzing noise? Ah, that's a little battery ass. <laughs> It'll keep your body running smooth and efficient. How do you like the sporty racing look of the package? I can't see, I can't see anything. Well, it's very, it's very sporty. Don't worry, preliminary testing shows that the blindness is only a temporary side effect. Anyway, how about that refreshing, cool, clear days? Come here. I'm going to sue you bastards. Come here. Where are you? I can't see anything. Body fuel. You could die. Try one of Body Fuel's three delicious flavors: original lemon lime, iced tea, or diesel. I, I can't, I can't feel my tongue. My gums are bleeding. My gums are bleeding. Body Fuel from the people who brought you Thirspiration Plus. It's the health drink for those on the run. Go out and pick up some Body Fuel today at a supermarket or auto parts store near you. Come here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Mac responses, yeah, I know him. I hate him. Oh. <laughs> well, they, they must know the same cop we know. <laughs> wow. That that's is all, sad. That's the automatic response. Oh, really? That's the worst thing you can say. But uh, you know, hey. I got a friend that's a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a free pass. Yeah. Uh, right? Uh -huh. You can't pull me over. I'm assuming I can go on with my life. <laughs> hey, I give it the police fund. Does that help if they have the bumper sticker in the car? No. 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 <laughs> That's the first thing they look for. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Every like, drug dealer in the go, world has one of those. Boy, you're a chump. <laughs> <laughs> you just paid for our last keg party. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Ladies, has Mother Nature's roulette wheel left you flat busted, so to speak? Hi, I'm Nick Love, president <laughs> of Love Co. Industries. Along with my brother, Sonny, I've developed a safe, affordable alternative to make mountains out of your molehill. <laughs> Say hello to our revolutionary new product. Nick and Sonny's Air Hogan's. <laughs> That's right. We feel our Air Hogan's are the biggest development, so to speak, in the entire breast enlargement industry. A few simple pumps on our lifelike nipple inflator valve, and you'll be raising heads all over town. Let's listen in on one of our satisfied customers. Hi, I'm here about the secretarial position. I have 12 years experience. Yeah, Great. yeah, yeah. Just leave your resume on the way out. Next later that day. <laughs> Hi, I hear about the secretary of... Holy s***, <laughs> you're high! <laughs> so, isn't it time you make the Air Hogan's a part of your future? Remember our 
our slogan. Thanks to Air Hogan's, your lover is now playing with the best. For more information, dial 1-800-3838-38-D. That's 1-800-MAKE-ME-HUGE. Ladies over 50, ask about our Air Hogan Helium Series. Air Hogan's Incorporated is a division of Loveco Industries. Loveco, we're reshaping America one D cup at a time. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for joining us with us in the studio. Comedian Billy Gardell, Comedy Central, with a Comedy Central stand-up special. Where'd you film that? Uh, New York, uh, the Hudson Theater, which oh, yeah. is really cool. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, you know, uh, two blocks off of Broadway. And uh, I called my dad to try to share a moment with him. Mm-hmm. My dad was a steel worker in Pittsburgh, so... I should have known better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, Dad, I'm two blocks from Broadway. He goes, yeah, well, enjoy it. That's probably as close as you're ever going to get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. Well, thanks, Dad. Thanks, thanks a lot. For, Love you, too. Uh-huh. His favorite game to play with me when I'm home is, look at the TV star taking out my trash. <laughs> That's his favorite little game. He loves to show That's the neighbors. It. Look, yeah. still takes it to the curb. Uh-huh. <laughs> now he can read and types like a secretary. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's what it is. Hello, you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hello. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hi, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Boy, we take Duke for granted, don't we? Do you, do you ever just sit back and listen to him play? Uh, He's yeah. very good. <laughs> yes. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold with our special guest. Extra special He's guy. Mr. Steven Singer. He's the I Hate Steven Singer guy. I hate Steven Singer.com to be more precise. We're going to talk a little Valentine's Day with Steven in just a second. I'm just enjoying this groove from uh, Duke. It's all good. And those great horns uh, under the direction of Jay Young on sax and flute with Neil Broker on the berry and PJ Yinger on the trumpet. It is the brass to mouth horn section. Thank you very much, fellas. We're going to get back to the band in just a second. Take a quick break, Duke. All right. I, I During the break, yeah. I was watching the uh, YouTube videos of this guy that dresses as a dog. Yep. Yeah. And it's not, uh, it's it's hard to describe it. It He looks exactly like a dog. He, it doesn't look like a guy with a, standing up with a suit on. No, he's walking on all fours like a dog. It's really creepy. And he, he looks like a sort of a big collie. The guy <laughs> obviously has a screw loose. Uh, Obviously, has but he can't. Room. He can't go to a psychiatrist because he's not allowed on the couch. <laughs> um, hey, the, uh, yeah, but you've got. I, I can't put into words how weird this is. Yeah, and I don't know how he does it because his uh, um, his. It's almost like there are two really, really little guys in there with the... Never mind. Yeah. Just, I'm just telling you, check it out on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, yes, you can uh, check this show out on YouTube. Uh, and uh, see what's going on live as it happens. Then we, of course, re-air it on the Bob and Tom YouTube channel. And uh, you can see what's going on in here with the band and with all of our guests, uh, including uh, uh, the, what did we decide, the the captain of Valentine's Day? Uh, no, he, I think... Dr. Love, it's Steven Singer. Call you Dr. Love. From, uh, oh. from IHateStevenSinger.com. <laughs> and your origin story is kind of interesting um, you were bitten by a radioactive spider. Uh, yes, oh, and, yes, uh, so, Yep. I, I got to be delicate when I mention this. You more or less dropped out of college because no, I never even attended. I just gave a deposit. Oh, oh, oh. and um, <laughs> and uh, so the, the, the chick. I, I, I was taking. A, I, it was a summer job when I was in high school, and I so got a job at a jewelry, with jewelry, so, in, in jewelry, jewelry for a wholesale jeweler in Philadelphia on George Row. And uh, I was going to work and just see what it was like to work in a real job that wasn't like a pizza place or, you know, delivering papers or a busboy or that type of thing. And uh, I did it, and it was nice. So and then I was taking a semester off, and I said to my boss, well, you know, I'm leaving now. I'm going to go to college. I, I, he said, well, it's Christmas. You can't leave now. He said, so I said, all right, I took a year off. And that was 48 years ago. I never got my deposit back from uh, Temple University. So you could oh, be, you could be a freshman. I'll yeah, come up next year. Yes, okay. So I'm, He's red-shirted. So I'm a, I'm a dopey jeweler. Yes. I'm just asking. Yeah. Uh, now, um, uh, I wanted to get to this cicada thing. We've been talking about it. And I didn't realize that the uh, this is going to be the 17-year and the 13-year arriving at the same time. Is that wow. what's happening? That's exactly right. It's called a dual emergence. And it could bring as many as one trillion 
with a T. It seems like a lot. Cicadas oh, yeah. out this year. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, the insects due to emerge this spring belong to two distinct populations of perial, uh, is it periodical cicadas. One that surfaces every 13 years, as Tom said, another every 17. While any pair of broods may overlap and emerge the same year, this brood, brood 13 and brood 19, only appear simultaneously once every 221 years. That's crazy. Yeah. And we get to be a part of it. We do. First I the wonder, pandemic and now this. Yeah. Great. Well, I wonder huh? where I'll be with the next to uh, yeah. Convergence. Uh, According next, to, your brain will be in a jar oh, sitting right there. That's exciting. Yeah. And we'll be able to hear your thoughts. Oh. oh. NBC News reported the last time these specific groups lined up their cycles and appeared at the same time. <laughs> they're not women. Cycles. Quit. The, I knew you were going to. Cycles sometimes means periods. I know. Yeah. Thomas periods. Jefferson was president. He had, the, he had a period? <sighs> TJ. I think they called him TJ. Yo, TJ! I doubt it. I, he, he may <laughs> have heard that. Well, yeah, you know what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Even then, incredibly cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The cicadas should buzz around about a 16-state area with the two broods um, also overlapping geographically. Though some of the cicadas will emerge across the Midwest and Southeast, members of both groups are expected in parts of central Illinois and eastern Iowa. This is going to be wild. And if you yeah. haven't seen them, the cicadas look like great big fat grasshoppers. Grasshoppers, yeah. And they fly. Well, yeah, they do. And they make a lot of noise. Man, I don't think they look at all like grasshoppers. I think you can eat no, them, I don't think right? So either. Can't you eat cicadas? Yeah, you can. You can cook them you up. Can eat the, you mm. can hit them easily with a tennis racket. I know that. <laughs> or a wiffle ball bat. What? Or a wiffle ball bat. Yeah, you can take some swings. Now, in the we backyard. invented uh, the so called chick, the cicada challenge, if you remember. Yes, we oh, did. Oh, yeah. How long ago was that? Ten. Four or five years ago. Oh, and oh. and uh, where, where somebody, because they go in the trees. Yeah, yeah. They, lo so, they like the trees. Yeah, a chick, we each took turns. Chick stood under a tree yep. oh, that was loaded right. with them. Yep. And I went up and shook the branch. Or maybe you shook your own branch. I don't remember. but yeah. And they fly and they swarm oh. all around you. Oh, yeah. oh it's my crazy. Lord. It's awful. They don't bother me at it's all. A nightmare. I mean, they land on you and you just got to pluck them off. It's, it's like, like the plagues of Egypt. They That's don't bite or nothing, right? Summer. Nah, they're not going to bother you. But they're they're super loud. That's the main thing. Yeah, they are real loud. So if they were quiet, it'd be all right with you? Quieter? Uh, no, no, I don't like them either. They, they, they dig in the grass. And yeah, they, they aerate your lawn for you. Yeah, they do. They're grubs. That's okay. where they live. They come out mm -hmm. from the ground and then... But I remember yeah. we measured the decibel level and it was approaching 100. Oof. Oof. So that it was, it was and very And that loud. was just one brood. Let's, it'll be interesting okay. to see. Now, uh, Pat, you have a, a tribute to cicadas? Uh, sorry, hold on. Technical um, Okay. I'm <laughs> not sure what's going on. He has to plug right. in his guitar. Uh, okay. Hold on, keep going. Talk to yeah. uh, Well, uh... Right, set me up again like nothing happened. All right. All right, uh, well, Thomas Jefferson was president the last time these uh, this, <laughs> yeah. these, these two broods of cicadas. <laughs> no, I, went to, I went to Monticello. Did I ever tell you that? Uh, the Thomas yeah, I don't Jefferson. Think I don't think Stephen knows you. Everybody's no, rubbing think, uh, their face. Jason, Chick. <laughs> He had a 16-car garage. Did you know that? You ever been there? Guy. He was an architect. He designed it, of course. 16-car garage. It's amazing. And of course, carriages. Yes. They, well, there weren't. They didn't have, you know, cars and everything. No. He had carriages, but I was surprised because one of them had a bumper sticker on the carriage that said, "Ask oh, me no. about my slave children," which I thought was. <laughs> No, kind of bold. <laughs> Stephen Singer laughing and banging the table. <laughs> Wait, from, the, from the guy who came up with, what was it, Juan Dixon or whatever it was? Dick, uh, yeah, Dixon or yeah, Dixon or... Hey, uh, hey uh, Sparky, you got the cord in? Hello, summer mild friend. It's nice to feel the sun again. But what are these scary bugs creeping? <laughs> There's no way that I am sleeping And the sound goes from the trees into my brain Such a pain Yes, the sound of cicadas <laughs> Can't sleep when I hit the hay I bought a handgun and bug spray. <laughs> In my lawn, they're crawling on my feet. I need a double dose of extra deet. <laughs> or a siren, a fire truck inside my brain. Or a plane to drown out the sound of cicadas. 
<laughs> well, thank you very much, Pat. Beautiful. That was so nice. Uh, it's going to be cool. We'll enjoy it. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, yeah. uh, coming up. Oh, uh, in just a few minutes. Your pet's not going to eat them by the bucket load. Right. <laughs> you won't be able to have any outdoor dinner parties because you won't be able to hear your neighbor yes. talk. Oh, no. Yes, oh. Josh, what are the outdoor dinner parties? I'll have to cancel all my outdoor dinner parties. Good Lord, Josh. <laughs> uh, now, what um, about the cotillion? Outdoors. What of the cotillion? <laughs> now, coming up in a few minutes, we're going to get another song Screw from you. Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. We have time to squeeze in a, another quick news story. Christy, what do you got? Researchers say the so-called Humor bragging, the art of blending self-promotion with humor, huh? may be the key to landing a job. The study analyzed resumes, job interviews, as well as entrepreneurial pitches and found candidates who injected humor while highlighting their attributes were able to grab the attention of potential employers more effectively than traditional methods. Hmm. Here's one example of humble, humble bragging. Humble or humor? Oh, humor. That's what I meant. Sorry. Quote, I am a driven sales representative who is detail-oriented and passionate about serving your company's goals. I have a proven track record of turning caffeine input into productivity output. Oh, that's so, <laughs> I, I don't care for it at all. The more, caf <laughs> <laughs> the more coffee you provide, the more output I will produce. Okay, yeah. yeah and not. when I'm not here, I dress like a dog. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I think it's funnier to do something like I'm very detail-oriented and then misspell the word detail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thus proving that you're not very detailed. Right. Oh, I, I see. Way funnier. Yes. <laughs> oh, the study okay. primarily focused on sales and entrepreneurial pitches. Therefore, These pitches. humor bragging <laughs> may not work with all professions. Yeah, you may I, not want to yeah, do it. Well, I'd like to work here <laughs> at your funeral home. Yeah. Um, I've had no complaints from any of my previous clients I buried. Uh, I get it? See, they were dead. Yeah, yeah. right. That's, that's humor. Yeah, be sure to use the term get it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get it? Uh, uh, huh? uh, well, I think I'd be really good in your neurosurgery outfit. Now, uh, which one's the brain? Uh, okay, it's humor and the resume. My caffeine input matches my productivity yeah, output. Put. You're not getting an interview. <laughs> 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 Speaking of 2024, yes. you know Raycon earbuds are going to be even more indispensable in 2024. Premium audio at the perfect price point. You've got to go with Raycon, our favorite. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever with optimized gel tips. For the perfect in-ear fit, Raycons fit every ear ever made. Chick, they, is there a good way to combat the upcoming cicada infestation? That's right. Where are your Raycon earbuds? Yes. And say, uh, forget about it. Yeah, that's what you should say. To hell with it. <laughs> Raycons give you eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and price just right. About quality audio at about half the price of other premium audio brands. And Raycons, of course, have customizable sound profiles and an awareness mode. Raycons have it all. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today. Get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom today. Score 15% off Raycon products. Awesome. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. That was excellent, Josh. You took the subject we were talking about and applied it to the uh, carried to the message. I'll, I'll be honest. I learned it from you, so thank you for teaching me. Uh, so I can do this. I can do a similar thing. Okay. Uh, yes, the, go the, ahead, Mr. Mm -hmm. and Mrs. Ass Kisser. Go the, ahead. The, the, the cicadas make make a, an unpleasant sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get the rake on earbuds, and that way you could avoid that. Now, let's just say you decide not to go to IHateStevenSinger.com and, and get her a nice bracelet or perhaps that gold-dipped rose in Malibu pink. Right. You could buy yourself... The uh, Raycon full headphones, so you can't hear her screaming at you. Oh, for being, a, <laughs> for being such a jackass, it didn't get her a decent Valentine's Day present. Yes, you see what we did there? Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's yeah, out, that's outside. Yeah. Well, that would be a nice gift that's for the outside. guy that's to outside. get a nice set of headphones, mm -hmm. and you could lay in your sleep number bed, and she could get a gold rose, and it's a grand slam. There you go. Yep, I love it. All while eating cheese from gardeners. Yeah. Sure. Um, see what's happening here? I'm not hearing anyone say, "Get it." <laughs> <laughs> One of it, one of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're going to come back with something from Duke. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Frank Caliendo, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? 
check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Give me a strum of that. I want to see if this thing sounds good over there. Oh, that's nice. Is it too loud? No, it's great. Does that sound good, Dean? We go okay over there? Okay, good. It yeah, sounds right loud, but... Yeah, um, uh, Rodney, famous for many songs. It all started here with the famous Fred song, which we uh, opened up the show with just a couple days ago. Uh, this is a sad song? No, it goes, oh, okay. uh, I'd like to sing you a song They could probably change your life But I don't have one <laughs> <laughs> she don't have a boyfriend And she don't really care but She's always real happy She's got a grin from ear to ear And she don't need no alcohol To find her happy spot She found that a long time ago And she goes there a lot Bean flicking and a bean knocking one out like a beauty queen. No time for love, cause it's too much work. Just a flick in her bean where she won't get hurt. Flick in her bean where she won't get hurt. Well, here she comes and there she goes. Dancing around on her tippy toes. <laughs> Have you ever seen a woman just smile like that after sitting at home and a rubbing her cat? <laughs> it ain't over when she gets back home. She'll be flicking that thing till the cows come home. <laughs> bean flicking, flicking her bean, knocking one out like a beauty queen. No time for love, cause it's too much work. Just a flicking her bean where she won't get hurt. <laughs> flicking her bean where she won't get hurt. Flinky, 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 team that launched the first, the first low salt, low sugar peanut butter into the category. It was called Simply Jif. It was targeted towards diabetics. I wanted to call it type two peanut goo, but. <laughs> yeah, of course you don't feel good, Greg. You ate an entire rotisserie chicken at 11.30 at night. You shoved the whole thing in your fat face in six minutes, Greg. I think he ate the rubber band that holds a legs out. I mean, come on. My birth certificate? That document is 54 years old. I also don't have the Declaration of Independence. Because I don't know if you've ever seen an organic peanut butter kid go off the deep end. <laughs> it is not pretty. Okay, these kids. They spend 18 years eating it, then they go off to college. They have one bite of a Jif sandwich. Six weeks later, they're passed out on a park bench with nutter butters all over their face. It's a like a nice adult film where a man and another man and maybe a woman have 
consensual <laughs> sex in front of a camera without one of the three spewing out profanities. It's awful. <laughs> it's all F me and my A and S. And my, I, it's disgusting, all right? <laughs> like, like me now. I'd, I'd like to sit down with my niece and nephew, Jenna and Jamie. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Mill. I don't know how everyone got so confused. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom of Palooza 2024, the first annual. Here's Tom. It's been celebrating, great. celebrating all things Tom. It's great. <laughs> yeah, that's fun, isn't it? A lot of fun. Yes. You're Tom. You yeah. would think it's great. Well, no, it's it's live. Everything is so canned these days. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> See, you know, we got uh, Stephen Singer here with us. He's on edge, wondering what the hell these guys doing. It's a train wreck. <laughs> Stephen can hang, man. He's yeah, funny. He can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's great. You should have seen us last night. Tom and and Chick were nice enough to take me out to dinner. Where was and, your uh, we went to a lovely, lovely dinner at an upscale friend. place. Yeah. There's beautiful women everywhere at the bar. Oh, and man. us three oh. are talking oh. about our uh, oh. our surgeries and the medicines <laughs> that we're on and <laughs> our knee replacements. Oh, man, we are three, like, hipsters here. Uh, let's That's not get ahead of Hope for knee yes. replacements. Yes, yes. <laughs> let's not get oh, ahead of her. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Such a, a night. What a mess. <laughs> Man, I would have picked up the check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. In the bizarre world. <laughs> yeah, you would have picked it up and handed it to Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I You'll pay, he'll treat, uh, right? I, I can hear the uh, sounds of uh, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. And those great horns, the brass to mouth horn section. And we're going to get a song out of Duke here in just a second. I want to remind everybody that Duke is going to be on stage. That's right. Friday night, the Token Lounge, Westland, Michigan. A couple shows at the famous Jazz Kitchen on Saturday. Then Friday and Saturday, February 2nd and 3rd. Ah, uh, what a great place to see Duke. Kingston Mines, Chicago, Illinois is the place. Thank you very much, Duke. Go see him live. Now, Duke, how's it going back there? Uh, well, you got a you got a good crowd back there. They came to watch the show. Thank you very much. Well, they're all wearing pants, so that's a good sign. Okay, good, good. Uh, I, I, I thought we would... Uh, let you feature another song here. Are we going to be here in the horn section again? Yep. Okay, yeah. what, what do you got for me? We got this song here. Okay, does it have a title? The one we're going to play? <laughs> Never mind, he's he's selling you this song here, okay? Let him play. Okay. All right, fine with you. One, uh, <laughs> two, three, four. You're the best. Hey, baby. You're the best. I ain't kidding. Absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change. Well, maybe a thing or two. Oh. Screw up the TV remote. Run the car out of gas. Lord, when you start drinking, you're a pain in the ass. Hey, baby, you're the best. Absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change. Well, that's not exactly true. <laughs> when you ain't looking, the quickest way of getting sick is eating your cooking. Hey, baby, <laughs> you're the best. Absolutely perfect Everything you do There's nothing I would change Well, maybe a thing or two mm -hmm. I told you so much But uh, sometimes you don't even like my touch Yeah, baby You're the best Absolutely perfect In everything you do There's nothing I would change Well, maybe a thing or two
You said that's obscene. And then you sent an email to Ms. Allie Breen. Hey, baby! Uh, <laughs> sexy time. You're the best. I need some help here. Absolutely perfect in everything you do. Well, nothing I would change will maybe a thing or two. No. Who's got a verse? I think I can do a little bit of a poem. And now, a tone poem. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey, baby, you're the best. You're absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change a bit about you. As a backseat driver, please give it a rest. Let me drive your backseat, because I'm the best. Oh, oh my. Whoa. Uh, hey, <laughs> baby, where are you going? <laughs> Why are you running? What? What's the problem? What? I've got a little something to say here, Duke, if I may. Let's see. You always look so good, you make me feel so randy, but then you up and married some guy named Andy. Ah, uh, sorry. Hey, Christy. <laughs> hey, Christy. <laughs> what the hell? Absolutely certain. Something for sure. I don't... <laughs> I should have listened to the words more. <laughs> nice. I should have listened to the words more. That's it. Yes. It's all right. You're so good on the fly. <laughs> I love it. Speaking from experience. <laughs> Shh. He's in the You're the best. I got one more for you. Okay. This is for every married guy. Absolutely perfect in everything you do. There's nothing I would change. Oh, that's not exactly true. I mean, through all these years and the vows we took, at least every single day I get that look. Hey, baby! <laughs> You're the best. Absolutely perfect in everything you do. Yeah, nothing I would change. There may be a thing or two. Yeah. Hey, baby. You're the best rally, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, baby. You're the best. You're absolutely perfect in everything you do. Yeah. I would change, or maybe a thing or two. Hello. Hey, yeah. All right. Fantastic. Duke Tomato. And a uh, tribute to love, which is uh, so appropriate as we get ready for Valentine's Day. Thank you very much, Duke. That was great. And, uh, of course, uh, as you know, I just love that horn section. Just uh, like to have those guys follow me around. Now, can you imagine last night if we'd gone into that restaurant? With the horn section behind us? And I walked in, and uh, the horn section uh, gave me, like, a little <laughs> intro, and, the, and they would have paid attention to us a little quicker. Tom walks up, can I make you honey, baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> uh, very good, very good. Uh, we now turn to the Bob and Tom uh, news desk, where you'll find Christy Lee. Have we missed anything? Speaking of love, a grieving duck in Michigan is finding love again. Thanks to an online personal ad. Where is this? Duck in Michigan? Yep. Oh, oh yeah, somewhere up in Duck in Michigan. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Lindsay Flesser of Grand Haven told KARE. We care about everything. That her family took in a pair of ducks four years ago. She said the ducks, Sophia and Evie, were the best of friends. But in recent weeks, the family noticed Sophia walking around alone. Cat fight. Flesser's oh. husband checked in the nearby woods and saw a big pile of feathers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Evie had been coyote. Yep. Killed by a wild animal. Oh, they don't man. know for sure if it was a coyote, but yes. Sophia was very vocal about losing her friends, so she posted a personal ad for a duck onto Facebook. Did she? Now Sophia has two new companions <laughs> in Lucy and Goosey. <laughs> Lucy and Goosey? Is Goosey a goose or a duck? I don't know. Well, it just I says own Lucy a and Goosey. Duck, all I have to do is make a post, huh? And they'll bring me ducks. Yeah, apparently. Right? Okay. Is it like a dating service? Like a like a internet like Swipe left on Quacker. <laughs> Quacker. <laughs> Meet and greet ducks on Quacker. Quacker. 
<laughs> Is there one for uh, hillbillies called Cracker? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't that the name Even of... Even our uh, guest. Yes. Uh, <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. The, the greasers in the 50s, didn't the, wasn't the hairstyle the DA, and that was called a duck's duck, ass. A duck's ass. Yeah, and absolutely. What? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd comb it in the ass. back, right? right. Yeah. 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 You'd, you'd comb, you would comb the back. Fold um, it in, I guess. Sort of sideways on either side so it would meet in the middle. It kind of did look like a duck's ass. It looks yeah. exactly like a duck's yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah, the, right. oh, that, yeah, that was the big DA thing in the 50s, early 60s. The greasers would win mm -hmm. it. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple shots of the Beatles before they swapped haircuts. You've seen them, right, Pat? Yeah. Lennon's got definitely, and George definitely have kind of a DA thing. Oh, yeah. Huh. huh. Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. A flight from New Zealand was briefly delayed after a penguin waddled onto the runway. That happens all the time <laughs> yeah. in New Zealand. Yeah. That's <laughs> the way I picture New Zealand. Penguins everywhere. I thought, I thought that was penguin a Antarctica. They have no, penguins like I, we have Canadian geese here. I tried here. to it's tell you, penguins aren't always in Antarctica. They're all over South America. So South are, America? Yes. Well, how'd they oh, get dear. to New Zealand? Oh, Jesus. Took, a, took that flight? A blue penguin. <laughs> yeah, they were, yes. on, they were on holiday. Exactly. That's why they were on the runway. They got, they lost, they missed their flight. You guys know there's a bird called a blue-footed booby, right? Right. Yeah. And they're, they're, their feet are the most amazing color blue. They're beautiful. It's Hence the name blue-footed blue booby? Yeah. Bo booby. Booby. Oh, An booby. Air Chatham's flight waited on the runway while staff collected the little blue penguin. It was taken to the Wellington Zoo for care. Oh, you know why penguins are in New Zealand? Why? why? Delicious. Trying to keep away from Batman. Oh, it... oh my goodness. <laughs> you're, you're hearing I mean, the silence, right? <laughs> that was uh, just... Uh... <laughs> See, it's penguin. No, no, yeah, no, I... You got the joke. <laughs> the six-week-old fledgling is thin, hungry, and a little underweight, but is otherwise in good health, according to New Zealand staff. They intend to release it back into the wild within a few weeks. So blue penguins are native to New Zealand. They release it into the wild via catapult. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later, pal. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Watch out for Sully Sullenberger. <laughs> he likes to fly right through you. Can, yeah. Penguins can't fly, can they? Well, yeah. they, they try for a little bit. Yeah. So how do you get inside the airport? He was on the runway. I know, but he had to get their fences around. Airports. Well, you know, there are holes in fences. And maybe they were driving a truck in and he snuck around. Yeah, I, maybe. But, uh, <laughs> good question. The gate. Good question, though. <laughs> uh, time now to uh, 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 instruct everyone out there in the in the art of the joke. And the only way to do oh. that that I know of, of oh, course. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. Sexy man with a deep voice. Mm. Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. One day, a toothbrush. It had enough. Oh, yeah. he said. He said, "I have the grossest, filthiest job in the world." The toilet paper said, "Are you sure?" <laughs> so, and his joke of, I'm sorry. So the toothbrush and the toilet paper are talking. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Oh. And once you buy into the premise, everything works. Right, exactly. Poor guy in the toilet goes, "Hey, will you guys shut up! I'm trying to take a." <laughs> Ace's joke of the day brought to you by Sleep Number. That's right, Sleep Next Level. Save forty percent on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed for a limited time. Only at Sleep Number store near you or sleepnumber.com. Thank you very much, Christy. What else is going on over there? Uh, Massachusetts teen was hospitalized after a tombstone in a cemetery fell on her leg. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Uh, that'll do it. Yeah, those, yeah. Are heavy. those are really heavy. Beverly, Massachusetts police said a 17-year-old girl was found in the St. Mary's Cemetery. Hi, I'm Beverly, Massachusetts. I thought her name was Beverly, Massachusetts. <laughs> With a three-foot high by four-foot wide tombstone on her leg. The girl told police she tried sitting atop the grave when she slipped and it toppled over onto her leg. Oh, I, I, I have a theory. Okay. Is somebody else there with her? TikTok video. Oh. Um. Responding officers were able to remove the heavy slab off the girl and was, she was transported to a local hospital for treatment. I don't know how she's doing. I'm assuming she's fine. But yikes. It's yeah. pretty grave injury. Uh, uh, uh huh. I'm not going to take any groans from you, singer. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it was haunted then? Well, potentially. Yeah. You know, I would guarantee that they were doing a TikTok video. Huh. I wonder why. That's Is that a new thing? TikTok videos in the graveyards? Just TikTok videos everywhere. Remember, we had the story about taking the mirrors out of the bathrooms in the school? Because the kids were doing too many TikTok videos back in there. Hmm. Um, so, I don't know. I, it just seems odd that you'd be in a graveyard. Have you ever had a tombstone fall on you? 
Uh, no. Yes, it was in, into my lap as I tried to stuff it into my mouth. Oh, it was pizza. a pepperoni and sauce. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Tombstone uh, pizza, yeah. Don't blame me. That's, that's what he was fishing for. Yeah. You think I don't know what's going on over here? <laughs> think you aren't hip? <laughs> Speaking of food, a butcher shop in Japan sells Kobe beef croquettes that are so popular there is a 43-year wait list to try one. That oh. seems excessive. <laughs> it seems ridiculous, doesn't it? So if I order it now... <laughs> It'll be ready in well, 2069? So, wow. Yeah. According to CNN, the highly coveted extreme croquettes are Don't one of that. four types of Kobe beef croquettes <laughs> available at Asaya, a family butcher, uh, family-run butcher shop in Tagasago City. Made fresh daily with no preservatives, the croquettes are made with three-year-old female A5 ranked Kobe beef and potatoes sourced going to from Tagasago a local ranch. City. Gonna have some fun. <laughs> now, going to Tagasago <laughs> City. Gonna have some. Fun. That was the original lyric. <laughs> Customers receiving croquettes these days place their orders about ten years well, ago. What's a croquette? It's like a like a breaded a nug, like a meatball kind of thing. It's like a nug. Yeah, like hmm. a nugget. Have you ever had a croquette, Tom? I probably, but I didn't know it was one. The shop sends a regular newsletter to waiting customers, updating them on the latest shipping estimate. A week before delivery, the shop will confirm the delivery with the patient customers. Make once sure again. they're still living. Yes. Yeah. I would have thought beef croquette was <laughs> polo on cows. <laughs> so that's beef croquet. <laughs> I'd pay good money to watch a game of beef, beef croquet. croquet. Oh, I, people riding cow. Yes. <laughs> so what I was, I could get one of these. Uh, for my uh, seven-year-old daughter's 50th birthday. Is that yes, you? there you go. Yeah. Oh, you've got to do it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Order now. Yeah, yes. <laughs> She'll go, what the hell is this? <laughs> and now, a gift from the grave. <laughs> 50 years from now, beef may be illegal. Yes, we have no idea. Yeah, we don't. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, or made by AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. No, thank you. Hmm. It seems a little like can't they? That, you know they made that up. Couldn't they just get another store? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there can't there'd be that few cows that. Well, you always okay. want what you can't have, right? Isn't okay. that the old saying? Okay. Well, now um, uh, I want to remind everybody that several years ago, Chick McGee walked in here and said, "You're not going to believe this. I put a, a security system in my house. It took me half an hour. I installed it myself. I designed it myself. That's right. It's simply safe." Best Home Security of 2023, named so by U.S. News and World Report. We trust Simply Safe in our homes and recommend it to everybody. Simply Safe is comprehensive protection for the whole home with advanced sensors. Detect break ins, fires, floods. It's powered by 24 7 professional monitoring, costing less than a dollar a day, half the price of traditional home security. Simply Safe prioritizes your privacy. That's why their indoor security cameras are the only ones on the market with physical privacy shutters to ensure your privacy 24-7. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Try Simply Safe for 60 days risk-free. And if you don't love it, return your system for a full refund. Keep your home and family safer than ever in the new year. As a Bob and Tom Show listener, you save 20% on your new system with the Fast Protect plan. Just visit simplysafetom.com. Customize your system in just minutes. SimplySafeTom.com. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Check it out. It's uh, so easy to install. That's why it's number one. Read the reviews. We're going to come right back. We're hanging with uh, Steven Singer from IHateStevenSinger.com. We got a little bit of history for you coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a... Rest as, as uh, Jackie Kennedy... JFK is Nicole Pence. Wow, he is a good George. Yeah. Christy Lee, of course, is Teddy Roosevelt. And of here course. comes George Washington. Oh. <laughs> Chip McGee is George oh my, Washington, ladies and gentlemen. You've never looked more presidential in your entire life. That's a nice look, a nice blue. Wow, you that look actually works. Good. A, a blue. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hook that up as soon as we can. <laughs> you got it, George. Well, take a seat, Chick. Oh, what a great wow. look. We'll you be, look good. We'll man. be getting uh, <clears throat> just a little ponytail on the back there. Yeah, He's got nice. He's got oh these little things that make it look like he's shit. wearing boots over his shoes, but they look like he's like on no, house no, no. arrest. Washington wore, wears Air Force One. It looks like I he's on no house idea. arrest. <laughs> Chick, you should wear this the rest of the day. <laughs> life, rest of yeah. your life. Uh, that's this is a look. I mean, the hair is just. Well, this is. Is the hair good? But yeah, no. it's gorgeous. Yeah, this is making me wonder why this like look went hair. out of fashion. This me is great. too. 
And your beard, oh, everything looks good. It goes right good. with the thing, right? It's yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, it goes right with the thing. Wow, it's very Chick, creepy. you look like kind of sexy in this outfit. No, 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 I'm not sure. What did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of coming on to you there. What about you, Marilyn? I'd definitely give a uh, handy, handy to old George. Oh, my God. Now, who is this uh, hey, fetching Marilyn, young? Hey, I heard that. Who's this fetching young creature? I'm here? Jackie. I'm, I'm, I'm Jackie O. <laughs> Not yet. You're Jackie Kennedy's Jack. Jackie, Jackie Kennedy. Oh, oh yeah, my God. It. What on earth? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can see how George would want to have sex with that. <laughs> I can't wait to get our picture your shirt together. Off. You need to take your shirt you off. You need to take though. that shirt off underneath there. Yeah. You need to. You, know, you need to. <laughs> you need to take your pants off too. Put your it mic out there. Your mic on, yeah. Sparky. Yeah. Wait, how? Yeah, how you feeling right now? <laughs> Arm wouldn't get up there. Yeah, where's your makeup? Where's your There's makeup? no makeup. Well, I haven't finished it. I where's just did the boobs? first phase. Uh, where's your makeup? Where's your boobs? Where's you your? No George just has to hit that later. You better get it together. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. So when, well, you know, I'm sure you remember. Uh -huh. I'll, uh, I'll call me. From Bob and Tom Pictures, Christy Lee stars in The X-Men. <laughs> hey, Christy, it's your favorite drummer. I'm in town playing for a new band called Saber. Call me. <laughs> hey, Christy, it's me, Donnie, Baker. Hey, I was uh, cleaning out the boat, and I found a pair of your... Uh, Anyways, I think they're yours. Uh, can we try it again, man? I got the motor fixed. And I swear to God it works better. You ain't gonna have to row or nothing this time. On my pager. Christy Lee's X-Men now showing uh, every other weekend and Wednesdays if she's not too busy. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. 24-7. I think the fetching the towel deserves a thank you. The one guy called Thanks. in that. Yeah. Tossing the towel to you? Mm -hmm. that, that deserves Thanks. a thank you. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to do a thing where you, you come out with a hand towel and you go, oh, wait a minute, you probably want this one, and you, then you throw the like, big, <laughs> big wet towel. towel. No, you, you don't. You know, implying What's something you were talking about earlier? Stadium your, beers. Your money it. shot you were saying was <laughs> so... Oh, it's it's, it's uh, like 24 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if this is with age, but I don't, I don't have a... I don't really have what you'd call a money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mine just kind of quietly leaves the party. <laughs> <laughs> It's more of a will you take a check shot. Uh, <laughs> kind of just slip out the side just door. Just kind of moseys out. That's my, that is my favorite joke of the year. Da, da, da. Just kind of quietly da, da, da. leaves the, the party. The party. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Bob and Tom show. Uh, hello, this is Bob and Tom show. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Yeah. Uh, hello, calling, visiting, uh, listening to show. We're visiting, visiting with uh, comedian Frank Caliendo. He was just talking about Raymond Burr. Oh, Frank Caliendo. 
John Madden. <laughs> yes. Does the John Madden. Uh-huh. Very yeah. good. He, he was doing his impression of the uh, fabulous actor Raymond Burr. You're familiar with Mr. Burr, of course. Perry Mason. Side, yes. Actually, it was interesting because we were talking about uh, one of uh, Mr. Burr's earliest films, uh, of course, the legendary one of the film. Not familiar with Uri Raven Burr. Yes, I was in Godzilla. I never Frank, uh, congratulations, you're That's here. The one millionth time we've done that bit, ladies and gentlemen. My most Every recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More ah, or yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm-hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Mike McCentral, Indiana. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. As we're wrapping up Tomapalooza 2024. Great. An amazing effort, first time out. And we have a a couple of special treats uh, coming up for you in a matter of moments. (laughs) Is that right? Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With us in the studio, it's um, Steven Singer, the IHateStevenSinger.com guy. We'll talk to Steven in just a second. Um, Duke. Um, I understand that we have a very special request here. Uh, there we go. Um, it is my understanding that the uh, Steven Singer singers are still there. Is that correct? Okay. Yes. There they are. Um, and uh, we have a request for the live introduction of an, a bonus edition of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Oh. Yeah. One, two, <laughs> three, it's a five minute walk from my house to the bar. Is that right? But it's a 30 minute walk from the bar to my house. Hmm. The difference is staggering. <laughs> <laughs> Ace Cosby's joke of the day. Yeah. I like that joke. Oh, that is nice. Thank you very much. Chick liked it too. He enjoyed it. Yeah. Too. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, ladies. They loved it. Uh, Real knee slapper. A couple quick things. Um, uh, this one says, um, I enjoyed hearing Steven Singer today on your show. Um, I was wondering, I first heard about the uh, gold dipped roses on your show. I ordered three new roses this year for my wife for Valentine's Day. Very nice. Um, and uh, this is my wife's 26th. Rose from Steven Singer. Oh, nice. Wow, very nice. Isn't that nice? Well, thank yeah. you very much. Uh, that comes to us from Patrick. And this uh, comes to us from Rita. What was the name of the bracelet Steven Singer mentioned? Uh, uh, it's called At Last. At Last. Okay. Gorgeous. This you is, can um, see it right on our website. Okay. And uh, you'll see it on Christy's wrist tomorrow. Yes. Because Tom <laughs> has already gifted her a bracelet oh, and, we are o- oh, and we are overnighting it in her because she's so skinny and she's got such a little oh. wrist in this short we have it regular length and for um, bigger or smaller wrist so she gets a little one well thank oh, you who's that girl with the skinny arms yes. it's Christy <laughs> that's it I always uh, got, lastly I've been watching your show on YouTube every time uh, someone tells a joke the camera cuts over to Steve, and he has a look on his face like, oh, my God, what am I doing here? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, time now to review uh, history. Is that correct? Time now for today in history. Any guesses the number, Tom, t- today? Is? Uh, let me look it up here. Yeah. Well, that helps. Uh, January 25th. Okay, here we go. Here's, okay. I got it right here. All right. Well, this is a good one. Okay. Happy birthday, Robert Burns. Oh, Peter's brother. Uh, no, uh, seven, that's right. Yeah, 1759. No, uh, they discovered gonorrhea. Poet. I remember that? Huh? That was he's a poet, Robert Burns. Oh. So was Peter Burns. Yeah, what yeah. was the poem he's famous yeah. for? Chick uh, sliding down the banister. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Peter Burns. Okay. With one Peter Burns. Robert Burns, bitter enemy of Robert Frost. I know oh, they hate each other. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the yeah. heat miser. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, let's see. 1882, Virginia Woolf. I'm nope. not afraid uh, of her. Okay. Nobody's nope. afraid of her. Nope. Here's a good one. 1981, Alicia Keys, not her real name. I did not know that. Oh, either did I. At Marjorie Fortsman. Wow. How about yeah. that? Yes. Isn't that uh, nice? Yeah. Alicia Cook was her name. Oh. Changed her name because she plays the piano. Hmm. 
Wow. So she could have been Alicia Bone if she played the trombone, right? Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> Alicia Kit if she played the drums. Yeah. How about but there that? was already Eartha Kit. Uh-huh. We could be here all day. Yeah. yeah. Or it would seem like it. Yes, okay, there you go. Uh, let's see. Um, how about uh, Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison formed the Oriental Telephone Company in 1881? I don't think you can say that now. Uh, well, in Asia, they just called it the Telephone Company. Oh. They were already there. And here we are. Um, All alone. Uh, let's see now. Um, the Oh, here, this is for you, Stephen. Okay. 1905, the world's largest diamond was found in South Africa. How big? Um, the size of nine basketballs. Caused the bloodiest <laughs> massacre you've ever heard of. 1.33 pounds. Whoa. They, this says it was the largest diamond ever found. Wow. The Cullinan. Yep. I have a picture of me holding the rough. I was in London in the De Beers office, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 the years ago. Beers. And, uh, the Beers. The Beers, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was holding that. It was uh, Whoa. Very cool. Yes. So is it still rough? Yes. They never caught it up? Yes. They Well, they uh, there's they have replicas of the rough, and then they have it cut. They have the whole thing of all the lor- largest colored diamond, the largest um, uh, not natural diamond. Uh, clear, you know, and it's just amazing the, wow. the stuff that they found and where they are. Uh, Natural yellow diamonds, those types. All right, right, we're we're bored. Yeah, all right, thank you. It's three thousand one hundred and six <laughs> carats. Does that tell you anything? It's big, yeah. it's meaningless when you. Don't Is that bigger than Christie's engagement ring? Yeah, yeah. God yes, maybe. Right. Uh, nineteen sixty one. God yes. Oh, <laughs> rare. Nineteen sixty one. Walt Disney's one hundred and one Dalmatians was released. Hmm. Uh, in pre-production, it was 103 Dalmatians, but there was <laughs> an accident. That's, no that's what started all the laws. That's right. I yeah. see. I see. Uh, right now, it's time to uh, review many of the things we learned on today's show. Yes. Uh, Tom says that song remakes don't count unless they sound completely well, different. No, I mean it's just if, the if you're going to do a cover version, give it a little bit of uh, stank. A little stank on it. Is that what you want? <laughs> the, one, the one you played was an ab- absolute reproduction of. That's the way you heard it. Ramble on by yeah. train. Give Sounds it a listen. If you, see if you like it yourself. Ramble That's on right. by train. Don't let us influence you or no. specifically him. <laughs> okay. Two modes of transportation there, by the way. Train and Zeppelin. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> Stephen, this is where you tell me you're bored. Yes. Uh, I was I'm just getting ready to say that. And I sit here every day. <laughs> yes. The cost of an engagement ring uh, should be two times your monthly salary. Yep. Hmm. And the gross? Did we decide? We didn't say it gross net, or net. Gross, I don't know. Net, net gross? Oh, we'll take gross. Okay. All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> gross. It's big of you. We'll go gross. Yeah. Uh, it's a well-known scientific fact. We had many scientific facts today. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one was uh, one of the most interesting. Boy dogs like to watch sports, and girl dogs like to watch the cheerleaders. That's right. Yeah. Okay. They, they mm-hmm. identify with uh, what they uh, know. Yeah. Yeah. Except my boy dog. Well, he's gay. He likes to watch. No, he likes to watch soap operas because he loves to look at all those bitches. Yeah. Double down on that. Boy dogs. <laughs> bitches are female Rough dogs. Yes. Yes. No, I, I, yes. I, 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 if you notice, I'm the yeah. one laughing. Yes. <laughs> and a uh, duck dating site should be set up instantly and call it Quacker. Quacker. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Quacker. Gentle humor. I hate Stevensinger.com. Get your Smiler. Valentine's Day stuff from Steven. And uh, don't forget to check out Duke. Um, uh, the Token Lounge, Westland, Michigan, tomorrow, and a couple of shows at the Jazz Kitchen uh, coming up on Saturday. This is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com slash contest rules, or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and see contest rules. This